always ready for some Tyrant's mm -hmm. Grasp. Are yeah! you streaming? Yeah! Yes, I am streaming. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't think there's anyone watching, though. Oh, there we go. Now it's up. Okay. Zim's watching. Yes! I'm here. I'm here. Uh, so He's last waiting. time, quick recap, since it's been a couple of weeks, you guys have returned to Last Wall. It is a nation in ruins. It is scoured. The, the earth is barren. Uh, castles have been overrun by undead. All of the survivors have fled to the southeastern corner. They're in a port city. They're trying to get onto boats and flee. You guys have been tasked with going up and investigating a place called Hammer Rock, which was taken by the Whispering Tyrant, but he did it using all of his force, which was very suspicious. He like he didn't need to conquer it uh, by expending one of the Radiant Fires, but he did. So you guys have hacked your way through some jungle. You've recovered a couple of the bodies of the people that were sent there before you to explore. Uh, you've deactivated the defenses. You've gone downstairs and you found that this last wall fortress was built on top of some dwarven ruins, which were built to conceal a giant underground complex that was built by the Whispering Tyrant hundreds and hundreds of years ago. It is crawling with undead and... There are these different wings. There is a plague wing, a magic wing, basically like a necromancy wing. And there is a, uh, like a stitching wing. And you guys have met with an emissary of Urgothoa, the goddess of undead. And she didn't attack you. She offered you to hang out with her and chat. Uh, does anyone remember her name? And feast. And um, feast, and her name was feast. Feast. Yeah, that is correct. Her name. Other people didn't feast like Garm. Yes, I, I did not. She looked Same like I this. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, we did. Litharanti, uh, the executor of Urgothoa's will, and she told you that though the Whispering Tyrant has proved to be like a good agent of Urgothoa, he's kind of uppity. Uh, so she doesn't mind if you go around and disrupt his things. Though she's asked you uh, not to destroy the sacred undead, unless absolutely necessary. Uh, you guys have headed north into the Stitching Wing. You encountered uh, one undead, which uh, you did have to put down. Uh, Jitzel laser beamed it to death. Oh yeah, I forgot he can do that. <laughs> I got laser hands! Yeah, he laser beamed the shit out of that. Uh... You also encountered a couple of constructs known as soul bound shells. Uh, oh, Edith. yes, Yana and Pernal, these yeah, two soul bound shells, uh, who were once <laughs> like mortals and were uh stripped of their mortality and had their souls imprisoned in these constructs to serve as like uh assistance to the guy in charge of the magic wing. Uh, which is kind of the, the the next one going around the circle, who's now a demi lich, uh, and they'd like to become mortal again. If you guys could make that happen, uh, and yeah, that's about where we left off. So yeah, what would you guys like to do? Uh, they've also told you that you guys can rest here and such as you need throughout your adventuring. Can you push the map? Yeah. Boom. Danka. It has been pushed. And you guys are up. You're on the we're on the we're on the map. Up here. And yeah, those are the two soulbound shells, Yana and Parnal. Uh, it looks like there's a few doors leading out of here. Uh they would tell you that um They told us we're Malamute. Yeah, they would tell you like this door here Malamute. leads to uh like a waste reservoir. Uh and also exit into this both those chambers will exit into this room here where I've moved Iric, uh, which is like a storage can't room. See that one? I can't see that. I cannot see that. Oh, oh, because he's invisible. No, because no, because you haven't revealed that portion of the, the map. But you see him, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, uh, in that area or whatever. Okay. Is okay. uh like a storage room, and that's more or less all they've explored here because they're recent to this area. They came from the uh, 
the Demi Lich Wing. So Malamut's probably to the north? Uh, yes. That's what we thought, yeah. Yeah, they told us where he was. He's like up uh, up this way, right? Um, That's what I was thinking. Let's see. How's everybody doing on research? Yeah, Molem? Uh, they'll tell you there's a lab to the north that he's probably in. Uh, you mean like, do I need a long rest? Yeah. I would like one. <laughs> I mean, the question is, can we take one here? No. I mean, we should at least clear the wing first, right? I mean, I have all of my shit, so let's go. All right. Sim always I has mean, all I, of his shit. I, I always the only have all one, my shit, though. I'm probably the only one that would regularly need a rest. I mean, uh, I do uh, as well. I, I do as well because of my there. buff spells. But we still have about all of those five rolling, rounds of combat. So. Five rounds of y'all are fucking cracked combat. Aside I from have, that, I can keep punching. I have three more laser hands. So we can get through three one more? or two combats. Yeah, we can get through one or two. Okay. Just line them up. All right, I kicked down the door. Boom! Also, we can sure. put in a mass heal on these undead bastards. Yo, 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 check I, this I out. I do have mass heal. Nice. It solves every problem in the game. Zim! <laughs> There seems to be a tiny corridor with another set of doors on the other side. Damn it! (laughs) Out of sheer frustration, I run and charge into this door and push it open. Sure. Find a a more substantial room. Ah. Boom. This seems to be a research lab. Yeah. Carefully arranged glassware and organized books line the shelves along the walls of this meticulously clean laboratory. Two workbenches with an array of restraints for binding creatures of various sizes stand near the middle of the room, and three cabinets filled with an array of regions stand against the north wall. The headless body of a winged woman is manacled to one of the tables. You know, it's like your standard, standard practice. There is also a couple of creatures in here. Um... The, the headless body so she's dead oh yeah she she dead she certainly she's still dead good. you see a couple of things it's pretty That's offensive to just creature. assume that someone is dead because they have no head uh that giant thing that giant thing seems to be a huge undead it looks rather large uh let me get you huge even yeah Let me get you an image real quick. Buckaroo. Is his name Cornelius? Whoops. That's too big. But I will push that real quick into the Discord. It looks like that. Ew. It's a thicken. Uh, the other one looks like a dude. Yeah, uh, looking like a man. He's obviously oh, a ghast, which is uh, him. basically an elf that's been turned into a zombie. Uh, and he's wearing, you know, your standard kind of like alchemist garb. He's got like a nice apron on. There's some rusty utensils hanging off it and clattering. There's all sorts of flasks and so forth. He's uh, thrown out of those shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Man needs new kicks. Uh, True. As you guys enter, he'll be like, Welcome to the wing. I see you're the uh, the ones causing the ruckus. That'd be us. Yeah. That'd be us, yeah. Quite. We, we ruckus ones. quite a bit. Well, I am Molem. And he'll like bow. The flesh crafter. And these are my wares. He'll gesture at the, uh, the giant siege uh, creature beside him. That's like comprised of multiple different creatures body parts mm. great fantastic like, huh. like the horse <laughs> what the fuck is that so uh, is that a knowledge engineering or uh religion yeah he will tell you that uh this is one of his handful of uh siege necrocrafts he tells you this one's here for his personal defense um yeah it's like it's a four-legged winged creature that he's just kind of spliced together from various things. Uh, you'll be like, there's a few of them roaming about. 
I call this one Charlie. And uh, rather nice. What are you doing for Tarbifon exactly? Ah, yes. For my Dark Master, of course. Uh, he will uh, begin telling you that uh, he's long worked for the Whispering Tyrant, um, trying to uh, maintain the uh, the Dark Lord's uh, quota for, like, undead lieutenants and soldiers to fight in his, like, never-ending crusade against the living. A, a noble work. A noble work, to be sure. Uh, he'll tell you that if he was able to kind of like regain control of this entire facility and like have access to the ample amount of like bodies and stasis in the other wings and like down other corridors that are being controlled by his rivals, he would very easily be able to like keep up production and make a nice army of golems for the whispering tyrant. Sadly, uh, he'll tell you that um, uh, of his two rivals, uh, Aeonet, that bitch Medusa, uh, she's long been trying to, like, plunder my necrocrafts and gain control of various territories and laboratories and various alchemical supplies that she has no need for. Uh, she thinks that her mind-controlled stone zombies are better than my obviously superior stitch well, work. She's, she's wrong. You're, this is just, it's a masterpiece. Yeah. Um... Uh, he'll tell you that he, he's really interested in uh, having his rival deposed. Uh, and he'd be more than happy to uh, kind of like look the other way if you wanted to go down there and just whoop yeah, the shit I, out of her. Can I borrow Charlie for like a couple hours? That could be okay. Mm, this one's for my personal use, but I can, of course, send you a necrograph if you're uh, keen on working together. He'll like intertwine his bony fingers. Uh, and you'll you can now you know having been in the room for a while, it's definitely like a dead angel garm that he's got there, huh. um, that he's like cutting up. So you know probably, on like the uh, the darker side of the uh, the good and evil spectrum there. Um, you know, yeah, I, I'm thinking, and I'll think to the party that if we can take one of these and go smash the other two wings, and then come back and kill this guy, um, easier. We- or we could just take the thing and kill him. Yeah, we're not yeah. using this. He will say. He will tell you, well, he hasn't made his offer yet. Uh, as you guys are thinking back and forth, he'll be like, but of course I understand adventurers such as yourselves. You do not adventure for the good of service to the Whispering Tyrant, as you still have your mortal shells, and they're quite fallible and require things like money uh, in order to be placated. Um... He will tell you that uh, in exchange for letting you know how to weaken the Medusa's forces, he will reward you with a powerful elixir. Hmm. Is he lying? Uh, you can make a sense motive check. Yeah, I would like to take a sense motive check. Noggin doesn't care as he is contemplating attacking this giant. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Of me. I think to you, just hold on a minute. We're not going to obviously. Uh, you believe he's telling you believe he's telling the truth. Uh, mechanically, he will grant you something. Uh, he, he will uh, he will brew for you a very powerful uh, magical elixir. And you know what? He will uh, grant one to each of you. He'll tell you that. Uh, even though you're uh, reluctant to leave your earth and shells, I mastered uh, ways of strengthening sinew, mind, speed, and skill back when I was immortal. I, I could grant you some of this, uh, but a snifter of this power uh, in exchange for uh, dealing with my rival and then letting me and my constructs uh, go our separate ways. I, I am no fool. I know that you are opposed to the Whispering Tyrants, and and uh, I imagine he would relish the sport of defeating a powerful mortal adventurers yet again. So uh, I will not stop you, uh, but you will, uh, in exchange for uh, these powerful elixir and dealing with my rival, uh, you will, uh, of course, have to let me uh, and my constructs uh, go about our business and not interfere. Noggin, what do you think? I'm thinking that to you. You just want to just go? Um, 
I Noggin encourage is over Noggin's there. violence. <laughs> <laughs> Noggin, Noggin is at this point taking out the rapier and it's it's just daydreaming about murder at the okay, moment. Let's, let's, yeah, let's I'm just go. like white knuckled sure. looking sure. at this right. necrocraft. Let's try to have kids um, like go to combat surprise. Sure, we can roll initiative. But... There'll be no surprise round. I didn't think so. No, yeah, no. You, you gotta uh, try, right? Well, you have a big stream starting soon on your stream. Oh. Well, it has started. Yeah, so you probably don't. <laughs> oh. I've done that. I've definitely done that. Where oh, I mean, like, like we didn't talk about the backstory forever, so yeah, we. Uh, uh, <laughs> I streamed with a stream like that, like a beer right back screen for like an hour and a half. As it becomes clear, you're unwilling to talk yeah. to Molem, uh and uh, take his very generous offer, as he would have granted you all a plus two inherent bonus to one ability score of your choice. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, indeed. Good. It sure would have. <laughs> he will throw some bombs at you. Oh. Oh. What a dude. What a dude. <laughs> what a dude. <laughs> yeah. He is, in fact, a, uh, a bombardier, so. Oh, fun. All right. You can teleport us, right? I legally can, yes. Why did you is... preface that with legally? <laughs> yeah. I, I was also what? <laughs> yes. Uh, these will probably miss. Can can you not Ill against your flat footed? Uh, you can't be flat footed, right, Zen? Nope. I'm not. Against your touch AC, pretty sure the eleven will miss. The eighteen might hit. Nah, none of those hit. Uh, the twenty two probably hit your touch AC. I have, have twenty four touch AC. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, they all miss. You will just take minimum. Do you have evasion? I do. Okay, go ahead and give me three reflex I don't saves. Take anything then? Sure. Uh, also, Hugo, give me three reflex saves. Sure. Is there a way to roll these faster? You can just right click the die and drop three of them. Yeah, I mean, uh, you will take one of them. So you'll take ten points of damage on one of them. So be it. <laughs> Do you have a vision, Hugo? Uh, no. Okay, you will take 15 as you save on all of them. Boom. He throws a bunch of bombs. Uh, yeah. He'll, uh, scurry up the wall about five feet. Norm, start of the round, uh, you take some damage as, uh, your companion's wounds heal. Yeah! Is this thing oh, in wait. front of us an undead? We have temporary hit points. Does that replace the temporary hit points when we take damage? Oh, yeah. You would take none, then. I thought, nice. are that, oh, that is temporary from the feast. That's what that is. Yeah. From the feast, yeah. Oh, you guys did partake of the feast. Fantastic. We did. <laughs> Norm, what would you like to do? Norm! Norm! Norm. <laughs> That's my, my thing now. I just uh, my name into You that. basically, I mean, you, you, got the entire, you got the entire conversation due to the tele telepathic bond. And as you see, like, your companions... Uh, confirm that they want to go to combat and begin like motioning forward. Uh, the hallway in front of you just explodes as like three bombs detonate. Uh, your companions seem relatively unscathed though. Or oh. laser beam attack. I'm, oh, I'm, we also no, have... I'm not going to laser beam attack. We I'm also have going... resist energy 25 on all of us. That's part of our buff repertoire as we came downstairs. <laughs> You don't want to laser beam this giant undead thing? No, I, I only have three laser beams left. I feel like we're going to rest after we, this combat. I, soon, I, but, I don't okay. know. I, I feel like... This is the guy. Yeah, no, it I is. Feel like this is uh, the guy. This is the guy. Volum is, oh. is, is the flesh crafter. This is the guy of the swing. This is, well, this is... Then let's uh let's just, let's just blessing a fervor at first. Okay. Sure. Since I'm going before all of you and Noggin, you're up next. Noggin or Zim, you and I should delay until after Iric, and you should delay until after me. Cool. Furthermore, uh, as now like uh, that initial burst has passed, you find yourselves in a small area of obfuscation, as uh, those bombs have left a small cloud of what seems to be noxious fumes around them. Mm. Noggin, the start of your turn. Give me a fortitude save. Uh, sure. Uh, assuming you are breathing oxygen. I am breathing oxygen. Very good. I'm gonna charm life? I'm gonna charm life. 
Uh, you guys, you know, the DC of this is probably similar to the DC to dodge the bomb. So, oh, up yeah, to you. Cool. All right, you've convinced me. This is just like an after effect of his explosions. He's a plague doctor. Yeah, you're fine. Not bad. Uh, cool. I'm going to delay until after Irik. You go. I'm going to also delay. Give me that fortitude save. Is your vibing in my cloud of smokes? Ooh, a 22, you say? You're fine. Uh, with heroism. I, uh, yeah. Lust bitch. Lust bitch. Bless. Yeah, bitch. I will. I'll start Bless. my performance as a move Bless action. Uh, standard action. I will dim door you nerds. Oh, uh, you don't need to do that. I think we're just going to kill the Necrocraft. Unless you think it's I better can five foot just... step. Yeah, I mean, Zim can five foot step. Or he could just teleport us to Maul and we could just kill him, right? Yeah, I was Maybe. thinking just blow up the big guy. Mm. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. Okay. Like, That's kill the I problem. Would... Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I will standard mm -hmm. action give a dim door. Or, I'm sorry, I will first swift action spend a Kai point, making us all immune to disease for a round. Yo! That's the real nice. play. Big pog. Then standard action, I will uh, teleport. Sure. And then I will five foot step here and end my turn. Uh, if we get a dim door, yep. I will just five foot step. You are immune to disease. Very good. Uh, you guys can place yourselves where you'd like to be. Norm, you want to be away from the thing or you want to be over there? No, nah, they could have hit. I have more. I think I'm tankier than almost everybody with Zim. I, yeah, I right. think you do have more health than yeah, I have more yeah. health. It's kind of a thing. I could cast mirror image and just or whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Noggin, Hugo. I imagine you guys want to undelay. Yes, please. Yeah, sure. I'd like to do some damage. Do it up, man. Uh, you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Uh sure. I'll go. Do it up, I'm Noggin. I'm just gonna full round attack this guy, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, he seems there like is. he seems like very uh surprised. What, uh, what do we do get I have from a you? Bonus Garm plus one. Yeah. Plus three. Plus three. Plus three? Nice. All right. This is plus no, one. No, plus six. Right? Only what? plus three. I did not smite. Oh, okay. So plus three and then plus two from heroism. Okay. And plus two from heroism. Plus five. And we have our fervor attack. So there'll be this plus another attack. Jesus. One of those crit. And then one more attack. I think I roll my attack first, right? That one also crit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're so just <laughs> dead. I mean, so you go, go ahead and make your attacks and you get... Two extra ones. I'm pretty sure he's just dead. <laughs> uh, that I, I, I think he's just dead, man. He's just hanging Roll out. Again. Give me uh, that and, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, he really regrets not taking the thing that gives him like 75% to 75% chance to ignore critical hits. Can I? <laughs> Is it alchemist? I can't, I can't um, <laughs> swift action Bane undead now, right? Because it's not my turn. You'd have to on your turn. Okay, so I will roll damage for my two attacks. Yeah, Zim, you can roll all your damage, too. Back to right. Zim's damage. Uh, I think I hit every single time. So you did. Five hits. Oh, he's super two, dead. Two of them. <laughs> and then I've got three hits, and if he's still alive, I guess all right. I'll bait And him. then there's, there's also a critical in there, so an additional, like, 20-something? <laughs> Sure, and then Hugo weapons. can go. <laughs> Your weapon's don't, at least a plus four, right? Don't forget Zim, you, have, you have fervor. Do you forget that? Your weapon is no, not really your weapon is not made out of adamantine, is it? No. He's still alive after Sims attacks. I will wow. ooh, He won't be I, alive for long. I will be <laughs> dead. Does a twenty four does a twenty eight no him? Thirty four. Okay, so how many hits did I get? Did you uh, critical at all? No, you didn't. I got two hours. hits. Okay, so it's gonna be forty-six. Did your crit confirm? Ten d six. No. Okay, alas. Um, ten d six plus eighteen plus yeah, ten d six plus eighteen. And this bypasses his dr because you've baned him, right? So it's a yes. you temporarily have like a plus five weapon with the bonus from greater bane. Yeah, he's dead. That'll that'll polish Let's him go. off. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> On his next turn, he was going to turn into an ooze and go into the wall. 
<laughs> it's like if he's clearly outclassed in combat, he just like becomes a slime and and leaves. <laughs> wow. He's a, he's a builder, not a fighter. Um, the construct will go. Clearly, he's not a fighter. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's mindless. It moves towards the nearest thing at five foot steps. Are you have any images right now, Norm? I don't remember. Do you have freedom say, of movement? I say yes. I want to say I do have images. Do you have freedom of movement? We all have freedom do, of movement. Do we? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, this thing slams into Norm. It doesn't seem to care about the mirror image. Um, it tries to pick you up and choke the life out of you. You just slip through its hands. It seems very clumsy. Uh, your companions take it apart uh, on its on uh, their next turn. It has less AC and less health. I, I also have not used my boots yet, which... Yeah, no, it's super dead. <laughs> which would allow me just, just to escape. <laughs> um, this room, though, now that combat's over, there seems to be about 40 pounds of raw materials sufficient enough to create alchemical items. If any of you are alchemists, there's effectively an infinite supply of alchemical reagents here. You know, Fortunately, I don't think meaning we are. to level alchemy, but like, I don't know, I just don't have You get a plus things. five bonus to craft alchemy checks while in this room. In addition, the body of uh, this thing here seems to wear a ring. As you I roll, are, oh yeah, I roll go ahead. A profession check, real quick. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm still a simp. We're good. <laughs> Not a very good one. <laughs> yeah. Um, as combat's over. Uh, I do have to go pick up Alyssa here in a moment, so you guys will be leveling up while I go AFK for like 20-ish, 30-ish minutes. Um, as you examine this body, Garm, it looked on first glance like it was an angelic creature, but as you're now like next to it, as it was on the table next to him, it's like hollowed out on the inside and looks very weird. It's still like kind of vibrant with color even though it's like a headless body and it looks like you know a thanksgiving turkey where you've like hollowed out the insides hmm. so it's like a headless body that's kind of hollow in like the organ chambers beneath the head and it's still like it's not bleeding or anything it's like rosy colored warm to the touch anyway I'll leave you with that weird thing, uh, and you guys level up. What was the ring on its finger? Uh, the ring on... So this guy didn't have any gear, but on that thing, that, like, headless body missing its organs, there is a ring of elemental earth command. Which is just worth some money. Nice. I like level 17, boys. And yeah, I will throw that ring into the party sheet. And I will uh, be back. It's uh, in there now. Ring of Elemental Earth Command. But yeah, um, you do have other places you haven't explored here. Uh, as I'll also leave you with this. As those things are destroyed and you're kind of looting or whatever, uh, there'll be like a knock on the uh, the open doorway where you were standing, Eric. And it'll be one of those like vampire attendants that you met in the chamber down below. And he'll be like, uh, pardons, uh, the mistress Lassan re requests that you, uh, cease destroying these sacred undead. Uh, she's at her patience. Uh, you may take it into consideration. Very good. He'll, like, give a curt nod, and, uh, he'll walk, he'll walk away. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. Uh, what was his name? I don't remember. Oh, he's just, like, a mindless thrill. He doesn't Wait, have, who he doesn't have a name. To, the scythe lady? She's yes. technically in service to him, so she has to defend him in some way. No, she's in service to Urgothoa, and she requested you guys not destroy undead while you're here, unless absolutely necessary. And you have now destroyed three undead. And oh, she's kind of necessary. Right? That, that one definitely was not. Didn't she want us to complete <laughs> I will be back. the whole mission? I don't know. I guess we'll, okay, fly, I guess we'll, we'll, go, we'll go talk to her. No. Yeah, I mean, you guys can go talk to her, but uh, real quick, what she said was, you're totally down, you can disrupt his plans however you see fit, just try not to destroy undead. 
Okay. Mm. And this guy did say that the person working in the other wing was a Medusa. Not undead. Ding, ding, ding. Anyway, I'll be back. What is that? Okay. What is that website that I'm trying to think of? Aonprd.com. I get a sixth level spell and a third level spell. Let's look at some spells. I get swashbuckler weapon training four. I also get the slayer feed. A bonus on attack and damage rolls. Let's go. What? Let's say that again. A n p r d dot com. A o n. Oh. A o n p r d dot com. All right, uh, Garm. Tell me what you know about Medusas. Um, if you look them in the eyes, uh, you have to make a fort save or get turned to stone. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, this one's a spellcaster of some sort, probably like either a sorcerer or a necromancer. So what cures stone? Whatever. Um, the freedom spell. Remove curse. Uh, flesh to stone or stone to flesh. I think remove curse works as well. I think I'm going to take remove curse because none of us have curse removal, do we? I do. Valid option. You do? Okay. Yeah. Do you we have... A, we get a feet this level, right? Yes. You Ooh. already have two feet. Mmm. I do. Ah! Are there any other, like, buff spells I can get at third level? Probably. Uh, Dispel magic I already have. Domination. Faster. Fine. Fall. What level spell are you looking for? Third level Inquisitor and sixth level Inquisitor spells. That is very good. Uh, this this level is not very difficult for me. I only get a seventh and an eighth level spell. Those are really good. What? <laughs> you get another eighth level spell? Yeah, I already have. I have two, and I get a, I mean, I get a third. And a seventh level spell. Nice. I just get dimensional pick. anchor is good. Dispel magic's good. I already have dispel magic. Do I? I'm pretty sure I do. I do have dispel magic. Yes. Oh, I should have. I should. I actually get two because it looks like I forgot to get a third level spell earlier and a fourth level spell. Fifth level. Okay, so I actually get a third, fourth, and fifth level spell. Nope, third and fourth level spell, because I'm dumb. Arcane Sight is also very good. Is that, uh... Is yeah, this that's not bad. forget it buff spell. Sure, Arcane Sight seems pretty decent. Uh, what about fourth level? Arcane. Do you have greater invisibility? I do. Yes. A CMD is forty-two. Is that right? Oh, I get two third-level spells. What else should I get besides this? Zim, your combat else. maneuver defense is ten plus your base attack bonus okay. plus your strength bonus plus your dexterity bonus plus. Uh, you might get something from Swashbuckler training stuff. And yeah. I think it's deflection bonus goes, but I don't remember. No well, if it's also... Not. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if it's deflection bonus, that's part of it. <laughs> I, do not I, have a, I have a spell that allows me to turn a ship into a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I've lied. It is deflection and dodge bonus going to CMD. Oh, okay. Then it's just... That's why it's super high. I, for example, have a 57. Wow! <laughs> I have wow. a 42, let's go! As I also get my wisdom to it. Wow. I'm sure I get something Is Unholy Ward good? Resistant? No. It's resistant Can we talk about how we one-shot that boss? Yeah, that was pretty decent. <laughs> I was like, teleport you guys to the boss. We'll just full round attack and kill him. I, th 
I think we're pretty fucking overpowered right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, if it, it's save or suck on all these things. That's true. Yeah, we need yeah. to make our saves. Um, speaking of that, I can. I have a couple options of what I can do. I can get better at buffing Zim at level eighteen, but I don't think we get that far. We get to eighteen, but I don't. I know think we, I think he says eighteen is about where it ends. Okay, so the options are one, I can give Zim spell resist for a standard action every turn. I like that. Uh, that that would be that would turn out at level eighteen. That's not bad. Mm, um, okay. The other is I would get immunity to fear, but that doesn't really help you guys. I would get immunity to fear and first level spell casting. Really seems like I'm just uh, going with this here. Gives him <laughs> spell resist plan. Yeah, I mean, I working don't know. so far, so. Already got that. I think I'm gonna take Death Ward. It seems like a good spell. Very good spell. Absolutely incredible spell. Cast that on everyone in the party, please, God. <laughs> I only have four spell slots, so I can do that, but we wouldn't get Freedom of movement, but we have that from the wand anyway, so that's fine. Cool, Death Ward seems like a really good spell. It is absurd. It's gonna save so many fucking problems. No more negative levels. It's a min it's minute per level though. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I mean, it, it, this is a fourth level spell, so it's better than anything else I could take. What do what I take for my sixth your, level spell? Or, what are you doing yeah. with your fifth level spell slots? My fifth level spell slots, telepathic bonds, but that was yeah. a fourth level spell. Yeah, I know. Um, so what you can do as you're level 17 is you have access to meta magic feats. If you don't actually like the, a bunch of the six level spells or whatever, you can start looking at feats that like alter the way your spells are cast. I think Zim and I just take another teamwork feat. You're running out of good teamwork feats to take for uh, some reasons. Like you have the good ones already. Possibly. Um, meta magic feats do things like, uh double the duration or um if if you cast it on the first target and they make the saving throw it bounces to the second and they have to make the saving throw um you can maximize or empower spells and a bunch of shit like yo that. dude i can learn heroes feast Yo, I think I should take Heroes Feast. We get neutralized. It gets neutralized, poison, remove disease, and gains 1d8 temporary hit points plus one point per two caster levels, which would be eight. So eight plus a d8. And each creature gets plus one morale bonus on attack rolls and will saves and a plus four morale bonus on saving throws against poison and fear effects for 12 hours. Bad. I have a question for you, Garm. What's up, bro? Why is it telling me to take Slashing Grace? From what I can tell, this doesn't do anything for me. Slashing it says you can grace. add your Dexterity Modifier instead of your Strength Modifier to that weapon's damage, but don't I already do that? Yes, you already do that. It's for if... One, if you wanted to use like a non-piercing weapon as a Swashbuckler, you take Slashing Grace so it counts as a one-handed piercing weapon. Oh, okay. I see. But as a swashbuckler, you usually just get it for free. Do you have greater weapon specialization, greater weapon focus, shit like that? Yeah. Yeah, I have. I got those a long time ago. I think we have all those, yeah. Greater weapon specialization. I don't... Do I have greater weapon focus? I don't think so. Just a plus one to hit. Oh, really? Yes, sir. It's pretty fucking good. Oh, 
I don't know what to take for my level six spell. Arbitrament. Yeah, so I get weapon focus at level one, and then I have critical focus. Should I get holy aura? Well, okay. oh, I always forget about critical bone focus. Do you have critical focus, by the way, Ivy? Uh, what is that? You receive a plus four circumstance bonus on attack rolls made to confirm critical hits. Uh, I have something like that. It's not critical focus, though. It's, um... Somebody remind me that I have this. Anytime it's... I roll a critical to confirm, I get plus four. I have... Oh, I, I probably would have confirmed another one, because I have a... It's a... An Inquisitor thing that does that. Critical hits. Uh, oh, it's, it's one of my judgments. Gives me plus one bonus for every five Inquisitor levels, so plus three to confirm crits if I take that one. Oh my god, I also have Step Up, which I took at level 16. I mean, should I just take the Spell Magic Greater Garm? No, I already have that. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> my six level spells are Heal and the Spell Magic Greater. Forbiddance blocks planar travel. Interesting. What about Glyph of Warding? No. It's too expensive. Yeah, it's not worth it. Hero's Feast seems pretty decent. What do you guys think? I try not to. <laughs> yeah. What is Invoke Deity? Sip for Razni. Yeah. Choose a domain offered by your deity. You gain that domain's benefits listed below. So what are what is Arasni's domains? Uh, you can look up her entry on Archives and Methods. Uh, dude, when I'm flanking, I have a plus 36 to hit. Mine is <laughs> plus, 36. plus 26 when I'm flanking, but I have other bonuses yeah. as well, so. Yeah, if I have uh, heroism and your performance guard, that's plus five. I have a plus 41 to hit. I can give you smite for four more. So plus 45. Do I ever miss? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can heal and just that will harm undead. But what if I just take harm? Yeah. Um, that's you're getting into saving yeah. throws again. Yeah. It still does like half your level times five in damage. Like it's mm. still a reasonable amount of damage, but usually stabbing. Is <laughs> Plague bearer. Make the target a carrier of numerous diseases. You make the target an asymptomatic, asymptomatic carrier for a host of virulent diseases. Creatures that end their turn adjacent to target must succeed on a fortitude save or be affected by the spell contagion. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. What if I just got Divine Vessel and just transformed into an outworldly thing? Basically says I would transform into a monster. I think I'm going to take Hero's Feast. Uh, are there any other teamwork feats that you want, Zim? I don't even know where they are. I've never looked at those. Yeah, you have. You, we have a bunch of them. I know. You said pick this one, and I did. Oh. Uh, I go to the fe go to the there. feats page and go to the teamwork tab. And oh, shit. Looking. Look at that. I mean, just control F critical, honestly. Seize the moment. When an ally confirms critical threat, we both have that one already. Yeah, we have that one already. Oh, there's a critical feats section. 
Oh. We oh dude. Holy shit. Blinding critical, censoring critical, crippling critical. Oh, yeah, critical, critical focus, BAB fifteen. We should get these. Whenever you score no. a critical hit, the target is blinded. Critical hits silence target. Whenever you score a crit, the target speed is half. It's awesome Wait. in non undead campaigns. Oh, Undead my base attack bonus games. is plus 17? Yeah, yeah, ours is super high. Mine is 15, I think, at least. No, mine's 12? That can't be right. It might be right, yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's only 12. Okay, so you should probably take one of these. Like, I don't think that it's worth it. I mean, whenever you score a critical hit, the target is staggered. That one's pretty good. I think I was looking at the stunning one at one point. Yeah, stunning. You need staggered to have that. Undead or immune to stun? I believe. Yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff that, like, would be really good in another campaign. But against undead, it doesn't really help us. Impaling critical seems pretty decent. I think that works with some with uh, rapiers. What about flaying critical? Reduce the armor, the opponent's natural armor when scoring a critical hit. Yeah. Do you need to hit more? No, I guess that's true. I don't really need it. <laughs> None of these really. Do. Yeah, you're right. I mean, blind is not bad. I need, uh, I need to find my feet. Or silence. I don't know. I mean, if we're going up against spellcasters, silence seems to be pretty decent. Step up and strike might be worth the feat at this point. What is that? Teamwork? or No, it's regular feat. Uh, so where would that be under combo? So let's get combat. Was that what I was going for? Oh. That might have been what <laughs> I was going for. High level feats. Pathfinder. Oh, it re it requires following step. Hmm, good point. Yeah, so I think that's what I was I was planning on doing was getting step up and strike because at level sixteen I got step up. So now I could get following nice. step, and then at level eighteen I can get step up and strike. Which would allow me to take a single melee attack when any, when anyone takes a five foot step away from me. You just walk up and fucking shank them. Yeah, that's crazy. There's so many feats. I just I don't even know what to pick. What do you want to be better? at? Not dying. Do you have that's toughness? Kind, that's kind of what I was thinking. Toughness? Uh, no. No. What is that? One hit point per level. Seventeen that's HP. That's health. not bad. Is there something like Death Ward where if you would now, you know what I mean? Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Stuff that helps us not suck at saving throws. Um, lightning reflexes, great fortitude, iron will, and there's an improved version of each. I have improved iron will. Okay. Um, I only I've time. ever used this. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it might be time for me to get iron will. No, I have iron will. Okay. Plus two to will saves. And I think I did that already. Wait, how do I have improved iron will if I don't have iron will? What? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I think I'm going to take improved iron wheel, actually. Because okay. it's really the only way that I die is when I fail a will save. That or greater weapon focus. <laughs> Do we lean in harder, Garm? Look, man. If you just make the saving throw the first time, why do you need it? Right? See? There you go. Exactly. Big brain. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go with greater weapon focus, I think. I do have step up, though. I have to remember that. He has returned. Hello. Hello. 
Have you guys leveled I have, up? I have picked broken abilities. Oh, yes. okay. What did you pick? Uh Oh, I picked Angelic Aspect Greater. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the toughness feat. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't know what to take feet wise. It's a good feet. Everything. It's a good feet. You open that door, dog. Cold. Get out of here. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, so you've defeated this thing. You've gotten a little unit of information. Uh, yes, there is a cat. Actually, give me health. I don't think that it did. So toughness gets me. How much for every hit die you possess beyond three you gain? You gain 17 hit points. So 17 plus three, though. Nope, oh, so you I, gain 17 okay, hit points. 17. So it would put me at uh, 153? Yeah, where would you guys above, like to go next? Above Noggin, how about that? Damn. Wow. Uh, Anything noteworthy? Rest? Nah. I can begin really. my performance as a swift action. Ooh. And I have spell resistance 23. Spicy. Nice. Um, do we want a long rest here? Do we want to keep going? Clear the wing, maybe? I mean, we're not I'm, supposed to kill undead, so. I'm always going to vote for long rest. I could take a rest. Well, it's a good thing you guys make the decisions and I just tell you what happens. <laughs> I'm really asking Garm if it's okay. Yeah, I'm we asking could for rest. permission. Okay. Sure. You got, where would you like to set up camp? In the automaton room, I think, is the most the best place, right? Go back and hang out with the boys. Yeah. They can at least warn us if anybody unsavory enters this room. We can all bunker down in this uh, little closet here. Sure. Yeah, you guys can head back into the stitching lab uh, where the two soul bound constructs, the Yana and Parnell, Bobbany. kind of matter of fact, would be like, oh, we, we heard the brief uh, but savage sounds of battle happening to the north uh, and you've returned. I presume you've uh, destroyed uh, the guy that was there. Yes, we cool. uh, disposed of him rather quickly, actually. Maybe. Yes, yes, he's certainly the weakest of the three. That's mm. good. Well, I mean, yeah. he he's just a, a stitch crafter. He, he's no Demi Lich. Yeah, Demi Lich sounds like a problem. I think we need to get some rest. Would you mind uh, keeping a lookout for us? No, certainly. Yeah, I mean, they'll kind of just go about their business. They're continuing to research these documents and things like that. They have some various rodents that they're in the process of, like, trying to extract the souls from because they're trying to figure out how to how to extract their own souls from their husks. Um, but, yeah, you guys can all head down here and rest. Uh, what up. They, I want to ask them if they know what they, he was doing with the angel. Oh, that's no angel. That's the uh, the body of the Medusa. Huh? I see. What yes. The body of the Medusa. Uh, simply that. I feel like that's self-explanatory. Yes, and I is wise, and uh, oh, she can detach from it as as she she wills. You can make a uh, knowledge religion check as they describe uh, this basically creature that consists of a head and a bunch of organs that uh, separates from that body and flies around as it sees fit. That's disgusting. Indeed. Irik, you've wow. read of these. They are incredibly rare. You believe that um, this is a type of undead known as a uh, penelogon. They are more or less exclusive to Tianja, and they are powerful undead that possess powerful spellcasting abilities. Um, it seems as if this one is also a Medusa that was turned into one of these undead. Hmm. And uh, something was said about stone zombies? Oh, 
she's he's probably referring to uh her her you know they call them the petrified halls which is the the wing she controls probably referring to her various effigies uh and they'll tell you the various creatures that um aonite has effectively collected over the years and uh there's like dozens of different uh all sorts of interesting monsters that she's uh turned to stone and uh can command hmm hmm indeed Ooh. hmm hmm cool hmm. Hmm. yeah well i'll go ahead and rest you guys uh Yay! my favorite part <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to have yeah. I got a pee. I thought we'd have longer to break. Be right back. Give me back my laser gloves. We have stone <laughs> zombies to go kill. We have stone that zombies are... to go kill. Bring on laser gloves. Yeah. I get some powerful lasers. To... Um, as you guys rest here, uh, it's more or less an uneventful evening. Perhaps you toss or turn or wake up periodically. Um, you notice now as you're lying here that the rafters of this room and actually the rafters of all the rooms in this wing have these large glass tubes interworked throughout the stone that seem to be full of a, 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 a slow moving uh, gas. And uh, there's like some vents and things like that along the walls in this room. And periodically, like they'll be experimenting on like a rat or something and it'll die. And they'll like take the body open up one of these incinerator vents and kind of throw the rat in there and you'll see the gas will all move down to where the rat is and just kind of dissolve the body and then go back to to passing through the tubes that are in this chamber and the other chambers around you Is um gas intelligent uh yeah the uh yarn will be like oh yes this is a uh, a consumptive necrotic ooze that the alchemist is imprisoned here. Use it for the disposal of waste. He uses it to, to power some of his necrographs as well. You know, the creation process requires a great deal of necrotic energy. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. You guys are certainly free to head out. That getting out. You guys yep. want a you guys want a hero feast? Does it last for a day? Yeah. Yeah. Twelve hours, actually, I think. Yeah, you're gonna cast. Okay. You're gonna cast Heroes Feast. I am. Yes. Sweet. Yeah, you are still under the effects of the other Heroes Feast. You have. Oh, then I won't do that. <laughs> I didn't realize. You did confirm, though. Hers lasts twenty-four hours, not uh, uh, until mine you only sleep. Lasts Twelve, I think. Yeah. Sears is still up. The the one you had from before is still up. Uh, yeah, let's get those um hour per level buffs. We'll do a telepathic bond. We'll do heroism on me. Zim, Irik, you want a heroism? I'll take plus two. Sure. Take a heroism. Uh, what else we got? We go protection from evil, which I don't think we've been using, but literally does nothing. It's oh, that's okay. minute per level. We, Never mind. I don't know what those. We have, uh, doesn't uh, stack with anything you have going on. It does right. give a reroll against evil mind altering effects. Correct. Yeah. Only uh, if you fail. Only if you fail. But correct. You know, if you fail, Wait. you needed that reroll. We all did freedom of movement, right? Or you did yeah. the freedom of movement also one, and the resist one. energy. Uh, okay. So you cast resist energy communal or what? We have the wand of resist energy. We have the wand that has like or protection charges. from energy communal. Sure, which energy type? We'll use five charges. Okay, so it's protection from energy, not resist energy. Yes, it's protection, I'm sorry. Okay, very good. And it's protection from energy communal. Yes. Correct. Okay, sounds good. Five. Because if you're casting resist energy on everyone, it's going to be like 20 charges. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be, a, it'd be a few. But yeah, you guys are all buffed up. Uh, Partle will watch you guys as you cast all these buff spells and be like, oh, yes. Oh, those are, those are good selections. Oh, you're quite wise. Uh, they'll be like, perhaps Death Ward would be in order. There are a lot of undead around here. I have Death Ward, but I'm going to wait until we go into the next one. Uh, if, you, if, you, if, if you mean to, to combat the Medusa next, something to protect you against petrification would surely be wise. What would do that? 
he'll kind of shrug. We are already stone. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. That makes sense. <laughs> they are already stone. <laughs> okay, man, I fucking know. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I don't know. Um, traditionally, Garm can tell you you can close your eyes. Blindfold uh, yourself. Yep, Blind you could blindfold yourself. But yeah. Man, I love fighting with my eyes closed. My, uh... My angelic <laughs> aspect will grant immunity to it. Ooh. It's fine. But just to you, right? The greater one does everybody in a 20-foot radius. So, the way <laughs> those effects work is that they last... So basically, when you cast them, anyone that is inside your aura gains those effects. If they leave that aura, they lose those effects. That is my thought as well. So Death Ball oh, is the this, plan. This also gives me fly! Cool. So if Garm <laughs> Dimension Doors the two of them out to, like, melee someone, and they uh, leave that 20-foot radius, they lose the benefits. So it would have to be Dimension Door me with them. I would just need to stay within 20 feet. Correct. Got it. Noted. But Indeed. what happens if they re-enter that area? Is it just like... Nope. I, be yeah. I believe any of those aura effects, like, uh, if you look up, like, um, uh, aura of protection from good and shit like that, is that, like... Uh, it's when you cast it, people that are around you, and they have to maintain that distance, or it breaks for them. But, the real question is, are you gaining the actual qualities? Yeah, see, it's a magic circle against evil. So yeah, those effects only work. Um, the immunity to petrification is just for you. It's not for everyone around you. Okay. The stuff that's for everyone around you is in the paragraph below. The the plus four to AC resistances. Yes. Also, everyone I think has a plus five cloak. Is that correct? I don't think I do. Do you have a cloak of resistance? Uh, I have a cloak plus five. Yeah. Okay. So cloak plus three. So it would give Zim plus one to his saves, but it does not stack with a cloak of resistance. Whichever one is higher applies. Noted. Um, yeah, Magic Circle against evil will basically do nothing, uh, as it gives you a deflection bonus to AC against evil creatures and a resistance bonus against evil creatures, which are less than the other bonuses. Uh, the Globe of Invulnerability will apply if someone casts like a second level spell on you. The 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 war is more if like you were protecting a bunch of level one people from like zombies or some shit. Um, the the main meat of it is that top paragraph. This stuff is for me. Yeah, got it. Yeah, it's still good. Like it's not a bad. Yeah, thing. I mean, it gives me it gives me fly, a yeah. bunch of immunities, and like yeah, it's, it gives me a lot. Yeah, it's dope. And it lasts minutes, so you can do it before you enter a wing. Right. One but yeah. per level. You're all buffed up. There didn't seem to be any random encounters here. That seems acceptable. Yeah. So you have two wings you have not explored. I use I use that ability. Win. Greater reversion. What is that? Yep. If I get to half health, I get to basically just heal myself as a free action. Oh sure. Did you guys set up a watch that evening? We had the automatons watching us. Okay. Um, Box. as you guys are like getting ready in the morning or whatever, uh, I'll roll a d4. Uh, a two. Uh, nine. In your person, like, as you're getting dressed or whatever, like, putting on your boots in the morning, whatever your morning ritual is, uh, written on a piece of paper in a rather elegant hand will be a note addressed to you. Uh, it will say... I'll read uh, it to myself, so none of my party members know what it says. Okay, I'll message you. Did you forget that we have telepathic bonds? <laughs> No, it's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, Greetings, Noggin. I have been watching you as you've explored Fallow Deep with some interest, and I think our interests may align. Look for me in the future and know that I am not an enemy. Uh, and it is signed, Gildeus. Gildeus. Do we know that name? Familiar. Well, that sounds familiar. really familiar. The ghost upstairs said something about some weird frosty white. 
I don't know if we ever got That was him. the girl with the scythe. You did never get his name. The person he described was not the frosty scythe person. However, you guys can make uh, wisdom checks. Everyone except Irik. Uh, uh, plus two on mine. Wow. You guys Those do not so know. <laughs> wow. You guys do not know who this person is. You do not recall who this person is. We are, we are very dumb. Hey, Irik, have you ever heard of a person named Gildaeus? I, I heard of Gilneas once. Gilneas? Hmm. Mm. That doesn't sound right. Nope, you have I not. It was exploded. You have not heard of him. Maybe these guys are vampires then. Uh, I'll ask the automatons if they saw anybody come in the room last night. Uh, they'll be like, no, we did not. Hmm. They did not roll well. Peculiar. Cool. Um, once you guys are ready to leave, uh, I imagine you're just heading back to the main central area. Yep. Yeah. Uh, when you approach the door, you can all give me perception checks. Are you guys just going out the way you came in? I think so. All right. All right. So you guys are like down over here. Yeah, something like that. Yo, Norm and Eirik and maybe Noggin? Maybe? Who knows? Maybe? Oh, maybe. Perception. Perception. Uh, yeah, I new. don't roll that anymore. Yeah. Norm and Eirik, both of you hear uh, the sounds of boots traveling across the, uh, like, across the ground. Like, a multitude of boots. At arms, boys, I'll say in our head. Vid visibility? I'll say in our head. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's no, on the it's on the other side of the door. It, it's on the other side of the door. They're not like oh, moving towards okay. you. There's just the noise of movement in that chamber. Sure. I'll creak open the door just a little bit. Sure. Give me a stealth check. Ooh. I never get to do stealth checks. You're a bumbling idiot who attacks everything. <laughs> Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> My stealth used to be a lot higher, but then I got high. Cool. And he started um, worshiping a Razni. You see, <laughs> you see, uh, basically, an unbroken line of armored undead. They are wearing like ancient armor, and they have tabards and stuff of nations you don't recognize uh but their banners have the symbol of the whispering tyrant and there are between those two lines i drew uh you know four across separated every couple of feet by another line uh marching from that corridor across the circular chamber into uh the room that um the scythe woman yeah the scythe woman was in the room that had the teleportation circles uh there seems to be like an endless stream of them and they're going into this room hmm i will say in our head oh, looks like there's a an army marching into that room there where we had a feast what kind of army oh no some sort of undead army shit I laser beams there's I a think lot of we them. should Wait for them to pass. Would they happen to be in a line where I could laser? They, me? Yeah. So <laughs> like, uh, line. so like between those two lines right now, Jitzel, I would say there's probably like 80 undead. Remember, guys, we're not supposed to kill any undead. And there seems to be there, there seems to be them. more of them coming out of that tunnel. Like this is you. you've interrupted. You're it halfway through, like, you know, the worm of all these undead that are just pouring out. It's like, like the Burning Legion from the portals. Yeah. I was thinking, like, it's when the, the un, when the, in Lord of the Rings, when they leave, what the hell is the name of that city? Minas Morgul? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, it's basically that. Uh, after you watch this for, like, five or ten seconds, you realize that, like, that room would certainly be at capacity. Uh, and then you're like, oh, there's a teleportation circle there. Yeah, yeah, we saw those. Um, yeah, I mean, you can watch if you want to. 
Or you can I don't know what other run out if you have. want to. We can wait. We can sneak by. I mean, we just bust out we, there and I don't think casual. Casual. We, we should not there's, kill them. There's other no. doors, guys. Just go just act doors. casual and we'll just walk around them. Do, do, do. Sure you guys aren't fine. thinking with portals, guys. Oh, I yeah. Dimension door is away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I uh, just skip over this. I, I, I put on, on my top hat and monocle and good day, sirs. <laughs> 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 How are you this evening? <laughs> we got minute per level buff spells going right now. We're All right, well, before right. before we do the minute per level buff spells, I'm gonna death ward definitely Zim and probably myself. Uh, wait, what? The I minute mean, per level buffs are already going. I I just cast this one. I have hour. I have ten minute per level buffs going, which is telepathic oh, okay. bond and heroism, which lasts for 170 minutes. Ah. Huh. Gotcha. Death Ward lasts for 17 minutes, so All let's right, get well, a move on, team. Yeah. Teleport us, Irik, to the next zone. Yeah, Irik, go ahead and place yourself where you'd like to go. Um, we know that this one is the Demi-Lich wing. I Correct. can't see where the door is down at the south. There is not a door. Ah. Isn't the one in the northeast the I don't know oh is, is directly south is that where the medusa is directly south is the uh petrified wing okay mm-hmm. that's where we need to go yep sure we could just go do the lich first since it's kind of like on the other side of the room and like the, the undead will not see us because it's like blocked off we could use the loot to yeah help with um... the progress of the next boss yeah well, yeah, we. I, I'm good with either. I think we go out. We go to the east because it's out of line of sight of the undead army. Because yeah, we, we know go we behind, can make it. We can go yeah, behind right. this thing. All right. Sure. You teleport me, Batman. Beam me up, Eric. Yeah. Um. You can go and place yourselves as you teleport over there. Well, you guys I... get there around before I do. Ah, where am I going? Noggin, where are you going? You're Jesus, way over there. Noggin, what the I, fuck? Didn't, <laughs> I didn't move myself. <laughs> I'm just here. Yeah, um, after a few, side of after like another minute or two, uh, this like nondescript army of undead will like stop patrolling and like presumably arrive uh, to aid the Whispering Tyrant. Hmm. There are, in fact, potential consequences to resting. All right, Garm, get over here. You open this door. The ceiling of this large hall swoops high overhead, reaching a height of 40 feet, and a second story walkway circles around the hall, about 20 feet from the ground. A spiral staircase set in the northern wall leads to the second level. It's right there. And here is, in the top, just like due north of there is that second story for what it's worth. Can you see that other room due north oh, yeah. up, that up, looks up, like uh, it? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. So there's like a terrace credenza. What do you call that? Like they can see down. Yeah. From a balcony. Yeah. 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 It's kind of a balcony. Yeah. It's all the way around, right? There's like Which, a yeah. I suppose the balcony. Yeah. Fuckers. You got wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's I mean, like... It is, in fact, a balcony. There's like a bunch of doors and shit. What you guys want to it do? It is legally a balcony. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you guys uh, just want to fly up to the second floor? I don't know. If I was we a boss, I'd be on the do. second floor. Hey, Garm, get over here. Should we start kicking doors down? I'm pretty good at that. I'll poof into existence. Follow right. your lead, Noggin. I'll just cast fly and fly up to, like, this door over here. The rest of you can take the stairs. Get fucked. Uh, sure. And I'll open it, I suppose. Uh, the stairs here, you said? Yep. Yeah. I will also take the stairs. What? Fantastic. Uh, as you, um, teleport up there, we can't... Where'd you guys go? 
Am I in the mall? I don't know. It moved us again. It keeps yeah, moving. Supposed us to be there. Weird right. areas. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we be. were going in this door here. Oh, uh, as you teleport up there, why is it, it moving us? It moved us. Oh, Norm Norm's moving, moving you off the map. Norm's How moving am I you. Doing that? You've got us Norm. selected, so when you move, you also move us. Norm. <laughs> well, now my token's off the map, and I have no idea where it is. Norm, move back down <laughs> to the other room. To bring our tokens back on the. <laughs> Wait, here we go. How? Why is that a thing? Why are you doing that? Normally, owl power. Three characters. Well, hold on, hold on. What if, what if I move Norm? Here, I'll just move like, Norm. There you go. There you go. I'm like, a- uh, sorry guys, I have a hundred foot restraining order on all of you. you <laughs> okay. say, nope, not yet. I reckon not yet. Not yet. Very well. Oh, I mean, oh, you're yeah. flying, right? Are you flying? Oh no, I was walking. Okay. I don't cool. have a way to fly. So they the they begin the flying up. Eric, you're on the ground. Yeah, I'll sigh. Sure. I mean, I'm, As- I'm walking too. Then, if we didn't use the yeah, I mean, I was, I was, I was not flying. I was taking the stairs. Oh my god. I- I cast fly on myself. God damn it, Norm! Stop moving me. No, I'm off the map again. I didn't move nobody. I- I'm not even targeting anybody anymore. <laughs> no, you're, you're yeah, you're safe. We're good. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. It's just Where am I going? Five idiots trying Why to do I have this ability? walk upstairs. <laughs> and failing. <laughs> what if, boss. Some amount of you are in the air, some amount of you is on the ground. I after you after you walk through part of this room, a trap seems to go off. A bunch of wasps poof into existence and dive upon whoever is flying. It sounds like it's just Just <laughs> Cool. That's correct. It's they <laughs> descend upon Zim. I hope you are not allergic. Oh, good. A 38 to hit your AC. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Make a fortitude save against poison. I will or make a die. Fo- poison. I think you I got have bonuses. a bonus against You've got poison. heroism, first of all. You take 23 damage. Garb, oh, you doing okay. okay over there? Yeah, I get a plus okay. two from, and then heroism, and then fortitude save roll. We got the spinner, boys. Let's go. This one's always a different. Fantastic. Me. Give me a 17. seventeen. Give me a seventeen. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> uh sixteen. Yeah, okay. Sixteen, well, not bad. Yeah, you seem to be fine. Um, they sting the shit out of you and then disappear. <laughs> Ow. They are what's, quite loud. What's the fail? 23. I mean, what is what happens if you fail? Something. Something happens, okay. Oh, yeah, something or other, for sure. Something or other, Probably for sure. Probably would happen, yeah. Are something we safe to go up the stairs? Yeah, I mean, that, that's just what happened when you entered the room. I'm sure that everybody <laughs> heard Noggin get stung by All right, so Noggin, Noggin starts flying, flies up to the second floor, gets stung by a fucking bee, and just goes, ah, fuck! You get stung by a swarm of bees, like a cloud of wasps appear, and sting him for 23 points of damage. Ouch. And then they disappear. Fuck those wasps. Yeah, That's fuck them. hurt. Yup. You guys crack open this door. It seems to be a disheveled apartment. Great. Great. I didn't want this apartment anyway. Is there anything inside? Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything of note in here. On to the next one. Cool. You spend... Okay, you go over there. You spend, let's say, three rounds let's up here. Let's not split up. <laughs> there seems to be sure. three disheveled apartments up here. Hmm. There's also an open passageway here that leads to a balcony. So this one is just a balcony full stop? Or yep. would you call it a terrace? I would call it a balcony. No, there's <laughs> a terrace. I'm gonna look it up. There's a word for this. <laughs> go for it. Sure. Uh, let's go out there. What's out there? Sure. You can look down into this room over here. This room is replete with once luxurious decorations that have suffered the passage of centuries. Frescoes crumble from the walls, casting fine white plaster dust over benches 
hole ridden velvet cushions. The powder makes it especially easy to spot the tracks of various creatures that seem to have walked into and out of the room. A broad balcony looks over this room, leading to a walkway circling the area to the west. Um, as you pass through the barrier here, uh, it does not feel good. Who? Cool. Lost cool. Lost cool. Uh, you see a person down here. Hi, person. They are. I'm going to move you guys back to this map. Since the upper level is basically useless. If you're on the dotted, right. though, you're in the uh, that upper level. So you see a person. And she looks very familiar. Uh oh. You see an undead woman with unmistakable figures and armor that you can easily identify as Cedo Maldera. Is that the the palace? Oh, gem? the that bitch we... who stole all the gems and ran. It away. was in fact the bitch that stole all the gems and ran away. Wow. wow. Well, that's a throwback. Wow. So and she, like, her head like snaps up as go. she looks at you, and she snarls in rage. Uh, we can roll initiative. She seems very upset to see you. See, dude, why so mad? Long time no see, I mean, girl. I would How be mad doing? too if I looked like that. Hugo, you're up first. Um, say this lady down there. She's not jazzed to see you. Sure. Uh, how high is the balcony? Can I? Jump off of it. It is jump. 40 feet up. I'm sure oh. it'll be fine. Just jump. Uh, what is the turn order? I think we just delay until Irik teleports to us. Yeah, that seems like the right play. She can delay till after Irik. Boss, noggin. <laughs> I'm going to, I don't know, delay until after Irik. Cool. Like the, right, the right play. <laughs> Some creatures <laughs> appear. Like we figured out our strategy. This creature appears over here. Oh, Jesus. I oh, God, no. Not like this. Not like this! Uh, you see this creature. It looks like a devil. Ugh. Ugh. It looks quite... It looks spooktacular. (laughs) From the tip of its lashing tail to the serrated features of its fang-filled visage, this fiery-eyed sentinel bristles with barbs. Oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Did you say it's a barb devil? Someone say it's a barb devil. It's woefully outclassed, but it doesn't know that. Fuck yeah, dude, a 28 to hit. This other one will go. Jesus. <laughs> It'll attack Norm. A 26 to hit? <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's me. Let's go, yeah. bitch. Wait, hold on, are these creatures evil? 100%. He has plus two to AC against He does not. Creatures. What? That doesn't stack? The deflection bonus. It does not stack. With his... He already has a plus four. Oh, uh, deflection his... bonus. I see. It, with your AC being four higher, does that uh, uh, 26 hit? No. Norm. Yeah, it misses you. Uh, sadly, it didn't hit you. Otherwise, it'd have to make a will save or not be able to attack you anymore because of your greater angelic aspect. I, I, have, I don't have that on right now. Oh, you didn't cast it? No. Oh, then I totally hit you. Your AC is not four higher. Would it, would it be two higher? No. From protection. What's your ring of protection? Fuck, I don't know. Like, it's on my finger. It does go on your finger. (laughs) Yep, it does go on your finger. It does not. No, your AC is what it is. You have a plus three ring of deflection. You need to make a will save against fear. Uh. As this thing gores the shit out of you with its claws, it manages to get a hit. It seems surprised. You seem surprised. You uh, you get plus four on that from the Heroes Feast. Cool. Where's... I'm looking for it. Hang on. Oh, boy. It's a will and plus, save. And plus two from Heroism. There it is. No, you don't have Heroism. Never mind. I do not. Yo, do you have freedom of movement? Oh, God. Oh God. Yo! <laughs> uh, Norm looks fucking terrified. He no! does have freedom of movement. <laughs> He's not grappled. Irik. Teleport us out of here, buddy. Your companion looks 
fucking terrified. He's scared. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Yeah, that's uh tough. Um, I suppose I shouldn't give him an uh, a dimension door right now. That I was he gonna go say he probably wants. not a good idea. <laughs> I dimension door home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in his mind, you hear him saying, "No, no, no. I have to flee." Norm, snap out of it. You'll be I fine. Would, I would, uh, I would dimension door home. <laughs> I would dimension door. Very much so. <laughs> uh, swift action, start my performance. Move action, I will dimension door. Uh, Hugo and Noggin. Sure. Then, uh, after they move, I will five foot step down here and punch once. Okay. You guys each get to teleport. Sure, I'll teleport. I'll stunning fist as well, because I'm feeling frosty. Nice. Sure. Uh, yeah, you punch this thing. You're so good at punching. <laughs> so good at punching. <laughs> yeah! As you punch this thing, <laughs> yes. you take 24 points of damage. I'd do it again. I'll trigger my <laughs> contingency. <laughs> and heal for two it is things. covered in barbs. As no, his heal, hand, you, as he like heal Max, punches please. into a porcupine made of infernal <laughs> fish hooks and like flenses the skin off his hands. You, yeah, you heal Max, Garm. Ah, oh, yes, I do heal Max. You're correct. Thank you. You sure do heal Max. Uh, it'll make a a fortitude a fortitude save. save. Oh yeah, it's gonna crush this dude. Yeah, things are looking up at twenty five. It fails by one. Oh, <laughs> it, it kind of goes slack, John. It just kind of like drools a little bit as you cold cock it right in the beak. It didn't see that coming as you like break its little devil nose. <laughs> all right. All right. Good turn, Eric. Hugo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Bane bitch if that's a thing. <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> Whatever you want it to be. Uh, Bane. yeah, we'll, we'll get some modifiers on this attack. Bane ratchet skanks. <laughs> Dang. Dang. <laughs> uh, two hits and it looks like an automatic miss. Fantastic. So that'll be... That's what we like to see. Plus 8d6 is 12d6 plus 18 damage. Sure, do some damage to her. Now I, get- I will do some damage to her. Your, your attack, or your damage bonus is plus 9? Yep. Yikes. He does roll all those addition- I did an additional 8d6 because of Bane. So. Congratulations. I'm going to smack her in the face. Do it. Do it, do it. <laughs> Boom. Feels good to flex on some undead, boys. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, wait, Back on, in I your bread and butter. Something else. But Plus an additional grit. 8 uh, on, on top of that from the Bane enhancement bonus I forgot about. Sure, she'll take 8 more. If only uh, it rolled the damage. Critical hit. So. Cool. I'll roll damage. I'll roll to attack, I mean. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, do it uh, up. This is plus. Oh, my six trap is gone. Still. Just roll a 16, bro. Like. Damn. Well, I hit her. Uh, so that's an additional. You're going to roll your damage, Nagin? Yes. Yeah. Nine plus four <laughs> is 13. Just a visceral yeah. hitter. I, I hit her four times. Okay, cool. Yeah, you sure, you sure do. Oh, come on. Stupid fucking dice. Yeah, you just let me know when you roll correctly. She's dead already, but go ahead. Okay, yeah, I did 29 <laughs> more damage to her. Yeah, so she like, she like snarls at you guys, and you just appear on either side of her and just take her apart, piece by piece. Uh, as she dies, she explodes. Both of you can make a reflex save. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, let's go. We didn't see that one coming. Oh, I have heroism, so this is plus two. Oh, shit, I didn't add my plus two to that. Yep. 20, oh, we gotta fail, baby! We gotta fail. fail. Uh, you absorb thirty-eight points of fire damage. Yikes! You can mark it, mark it off your uh, total amount that you absorb with that. How much? Do, how does that work exactly, Garm? Ask Garm. He cast it. Uh, She's dead. Uh, Norm, you are terrified. On your turn, you either want to cower or flee. Your how much damage do I take, Garm? Protect seventy points. I get. I get to choose. Yeah, if so I want to cower fine. or flee. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're not really cornered, so you could flee out off the balcony, like into the room to your west, if you want to. You also take some damage. I would. I would like to run away. Okay. Uh. I would. I would choose run away. Okay. Yeah. Uh. You withdraw and begin sprinting away. Uh. Your companion's like crying in terror. 
I am a baby back bitch. Goodbye, Norm. <laughs> Norm, no, come back. It's all in your head, buddy. Yeah. Uh, the bird of devils, one will say to the other, like, uh, in Infernal, looks like you're done for, buddy. Uh, and he'll just teleport away. Oh, uh, the other one's stunned. Irik. <laughs> <laughs> this man I mean, literally just said, fuck you, and left. They're devils. <laughs> like, what? There's no allegiance here, sir. I'll, uh, I guess I'll just kind of, like, Lower my hands, uh, I'll delay until after his turn. He'll recover from the stun. I'll, like, politely ask him to leave. Well, will you now leave, sir? Uh, he went before you, so... Yeah, I'll just, um, I'll delay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Hugo, Noggin, get to go. Um, I, I don't know how I'm gonna make my way back up there, so... No, you're fine. Are, don't you have a carpet? Uh, yeah... I guess. I mean, we teleported a lot, so... I don't remember where I put it. Probably in my backpack somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll take out my magical flying this carpet. Yeah, yeah, like, so, like, the murder, begins, like the murder train begins, like, the murder train begins, like, mobilizing towards this one remaining barb devil, and he'll certainly, like, uh, as, as you, like, lower your arms, oh, Garm, and you're like, we're done fighting, and uh, as Noggin begins, like, charging him with the rapier and shit. I have fly going. So yeah, you can attack him once. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him. He has 138 health. I don't think you can one-shot him. I'm oh, definitely gonna not. move up there as well on my carpet. Uh, if I had crit. Oh, if only. Yo, you stabbed him? Let's go. Get some damage on the board. You take 30. Hit him. Wait, what? Why do I you, take he's got you took your You took your rapier and you stuck it into his spiny hide. I can dodge those spines. It's fine. I'm precise striking him. You can make a reflex save to let go of your rapier if you want to. Mm, I can't. It's like <laughs> surgically <laughs> implanted in the You know, have at me and you slice into this thing and you cut your hand up and you're like, all right, never mind. Fuck this. <laughs> you. The guy like cries in pain from his fucking almost mortal wound. And he's like, all right, I think we're all done here. He takes a step back and he'll, he'll greater teleport away. He's done fighting. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Neither of you liked this transaction. <laughs> uh, Norm, the object of your terror is gone. You can come back. Thanks. Yo, heal me, motherfucker. What the fuck was Cedo doing here? What is your cat doing, Garm? Man, if only you guys had, <laughs> if only you guys had talked to her, or asked any questions. Yeah, no, we kind of just killed her. That might hundred percent. Well, what do you guys want to do now? <laughs> Well, we want to try to find the lich, I guess, but he didn't seem to be here. Fucking Ivy's where'd I park what? my carpet? Are you afraid of your cat? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> if, I had a cat I was afraid of, too. If only there were more doors to open here. Uh, I guess we'll search around for shit to look for. There's uh, yeah. five doors you haven't opened in the other room. I will fully heal What's everyone. Right here? Is there a door one, right here? One channel. Oh, it's a secret door. You guys don't know it's there yet. Oh, okay. But there are literally five other doors in the room to the west. Yep. So the we opened this one. That was going to okay. be really upset with us. Darn. Oh, shit. We weren't supposed to kill Undead. Darn. Oh, yeah. That was Very definitely undead. I don't think we didn't get much of a chance with her. Like, that was just like she was upset yeah. we were there. <laughs> You're right. We definitely didn't have a chance after teleporting directly <laughs> on top of her. There is a creature here. Oh, we, oh, we did that after they attacked If us. it's undead, just close the door and leave. You see an wrong. iron monstrosity Ugh. that resembles a powerful devil. Oh, it might be undead. Well, now it's questionable. The golem seems inert, though. Hmm. Let's close the door and move on. It's not what we're looking for. I'm sorry, but your princess is at another castle. <laughs> Boop. It's right there. Hi, guy! Sorry to have disturbed your rest, sir. This iron automaton stands twice as tall as a normal human. It looks like this. But it seems to be powered down. Boo. What do you think, Garm? Investigator, move on. I mean, we can always learn stuff. <laughs> Nerd. Well, yeah, it's not a I mean... 
He's not a book! <laughs> well, there's Wait, a reason you... he's turned off. Did you heal me, Norm? Yeah, I healed everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah, I channeled once, which topped everyone off. <laughs> sure. So you've opened the door, you've seen this stuff. What would you guys like to do? Oh, this room, by the way. Sorry, I never described this room. Uh, this room looks like it was uh, another apartment complex, similar to the ones upstairs. But this looks like it has been destroyed. It looks like uh, furniture has been thrown across the room. Bookshelves are toppled over. There's like a mattress that's torn apart and there's like stuffing everywhere. It looks like something went on a rampage in this room. This is a time of time, maybe. Potentially. But yeah, so you like you open the door, you take all this in, you telepathically communicate. What would you guys like to do? I don't know. Close the door. Move yeah, on. I mean, Next. I don't really feel like yeah, this sure. needs to be investigated. Unless further. Eric wants to ask questions to this thing that seems to be powered off. Uh, I'm just, I will know where it's coming from if we hear something charging through walls. Guess yeah. so. Makes sense. Moving on. Sure. This is another spare apartment. This is another yeah, spare apartment. Bitch. Those both seem like the rooms you've explored upstairs. Ah, okay. This room oh, here sorry. seems to be a feasting hall. A few hardwood dining tables and many match chairs of various sizes are weakened with age and collapse when any weight is placed upon them. There's a small pantry here. Uh, no other creatures, though. Opening this door, there seems to be Three tables, including one that is much taller and better suited for larger creatures that are the focal point of this room. Journals, scrolls, maps, and loose parchment scraps, ink files, and reference book cover the various surfaces. Okay. This is, this is where I want to stand for a little bit. Can Mid I make a level buff? There's... We can spend Fine. one minute here. Uh, very good. You see a creature here. It makes no effort to hide itself. And as you enter the room, it is standing beside the largest table. It is rather resplendent, as fiendish as it looks. And before it are several pieces of parchment and ink quills. You see this creature jesus fucking cool why does it have tits why not I mean, yeah why haven't everything in this dungeon have tits yeah so far it does all right yes uh that yes like what we're looking for no this looks like a devil lich yeah this looks like a devil and mm. as you step in here uh as you like open the door or whatever uh she will stand up and she will move a hand, and several of the medium-sized chairs in the room will kind of telepathically move to the other side of the table. There will be three of them, and then there'll be one that's slightly smaller. And she'll move the chairs across to the other side. And she will say, in flawless common, with, with like no infernal accent, she'll be like, Ah, the ones I saw earlier, please, please, come sit. Let us talk. We could learn much from one another. There is much we could gain from working together. Very well. Maybe this is... I'll, I'll, I'll make a sense motive check. I was thinking the same thing. Sure. But Gilnea sounds like a dude's name. I don't know. I don't, I don't judge. Yeah, I mean, as much as you want to not trust the devil, she's certainly a devil. Yeah. Uh... She will tell you that, um, well, well, I do appreciate this. Thank you for taking the time to come and speak with me so cordially. I witnessed your acts of efficient violence elsewhere uh, against that uh, grave knight. You seem to recognize her. That was quite amusing. Um, we did, yeah. But of course, introductions. I'm Ufasti. I'm sorry, Grave Knight, were you speaking of Sito? Yes, the, the, the one you would call Sito, that you destroyed, that undead. 
She's a grave knight now. Mm. A mm. grave knight? Well, not yes. anymore. Well, so she'll be back then. We didn't really kill oh, her. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, she'll be back. Oh, her torment has yet to cease. You see, I, I met her. Uh, well, what remained of her. Her soul, you see. She was a very greedy, selfish person. Uh, when she passed, she uh, arrived in my master's domain. Uh, Asmodeus. And she made a bargain with uh, my Dark Lord to uh, maintain her existence. She uh, was foolish to think she could best the Lord of Hell himself in such an agreement. And, uh, well, her greed consumed her, and she was sent back here uh, in the service of one of his... She kind of winces as she says this. One of his servants uh the demi lich crow so she was one of his puppets i care not that she was destroyed but yes uh her torment is is ever, never ending uh whether she's destroyed here brought back as a grave knight or tormented for all eternity in hell it matters not to me she understood what she was getting into when she made that arrangement and uh, she sees your pensive look she's like no, 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 this is, this is nothing so grim as bartering for your souls. Please, please, please. I, I understand that you are much wiser than her. No, uh, of course. The bravest of paladins. She'd be like, if, if you'll permit, I'd, I'd love to tell you a bit about myself and the backstories of this wing, and perhaps uh, we could prove to be of use to one another. If you'll indulge me. By all please. means. Oh, thank you, thank you. He, she like gestures, and uh, a kettle will begin boiling as like fire conjures underneath it, and she'll like have it pour into some various like glasses and mugs, and like maneuver them over with her her telepathy. If any of you would like to drink, I I sadly don't have any food. The pantry's run dry centuries ago now. As I said, I work uh, ostensibly for Asmodeus, the Lord of Hell. Uh, one of his Lieutenants, shall we say, is the uh, Archdevil Beelzebul. I am one of his most pristine servants. May he live forever, the Lord of Flies. Uh, I've earned my patron's favor, and I've been sent here uh, for my own admissions and to keep an eye on Crow. You see, he was once a half orc, indebted to the Whispering Tyrant, a powerful necromancer in his own right, uh, unwilling to die and, you know, become. Uh, a corpse, he had himself animated as a lich, though he was unable to truly complete the ritual, and now he exists in this uh, tormented torpor of being a demi-lich, you know, a skull, no body, flying around. He's very upset all the time. Um, anyway, I've now been here for centuries. I was tasked with aiding him, but he's gone a bit off the rocker. Uh, my ambitions, though, they're stronger than ever. I have plans. Don't worry, they don't involve your world, Galiron as it is. I've set my sight on something else in the stars, another world, uh, untainted by devils. Prime, shall we say, for, uh, the plucking of, uh, novel souls. Is this one of those Draenor, past Draenor, future Draenor things? Uh, she'll describe that in the solar system, your world is like the third one from the sun. The fourth world is effectively Mars, is called Akaton. Uh, she wants to go up there. She wants oh. to cast a series of spells, head up there, uh, and subjugate that world over the next centuries, millennia, uh, to try and become one of Hell's next diabolical general she wants to kind of advance herself by giving herself like an army of lower ranking devils and she needs to farm those devils over the course of a lot of time and for unfortunately galarin is like it's taxed man people have been trying to get your souls for a long time people are wise to it akaton though they're a bunch of fucking ignorant farmer folk up there they don't know nothing about us it's gonna be ripe it's gonna be choice what? so I would be more than happy to aid you in your defeat of Crow. Uh, if you 
if you uh, return to me his unholy symbol to prove that you've defeated him, and of course uh, you'd have to neutralize Lathandri, the uh, the emissary of Urgothoa. Uh, well, here's the thing. There's all these undead here. You don't like undead. The Whispering Tyrant needs undead. I don't care about the Whispering Tyrant. We're aligned in this thing. You want to protect your world? I say fine. Do it. I love that initiative. It's that mortal impetus that we devils live for. I say, rather than destroying these undead, which would be a very tedious process, you allow me to take those undead to Akaton, where I can establish an outpost and begin my conquest of those backwards farmer alien people. In order to do this, of course, I would need some aid in controlling the undead, uh, Kral being a powerful demi-lich, if you were to bring me uh, his unholy symbol and, and some of his remains, I would be able to conjure up a, a sort of control rod and uh, gain control of his legions of undead. And I would be more than happy to sign a binding infernal contract promising to never use any of these undead on Galarin against any of its peoples. Thus eliminating a third of the Whispering Tyrant's reserve forces with the stroke of a pen. Surely you'll not find a better deal than this. And yet damning an entire other world. Oh, but you don't know that. They could all be child molesters. That seems unlikely. A Are whole... They? Perhaps. We'll never know. I think you do know. And she'll say, listen, good people don't go to hell. We agree on oh, this. You make a good point. If I'm collecting their souls, they are by definition evil. I assure you, no one that is innocent, no one that's innocent finds their soul in hell. You may ask your paladin, he knows this well. You can make a knowledge plans check, Garm. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> we are sure. literally Those making a commit. deal with the devil. Yeah, Those you're... Who may commit <laughs> evil acts may, of course, find themselves confined to the lower planes, but it is those who consistently act upon them, those who perpetrate that onto others, and those who do it when they have a choice to do the positive or the negative. Those are the souls that are caught in limbo if we make a deal with a being such as this. Those who are just doing it because they're stuck, because it's the people around them. Yeah. If we create a system where evil is the only thing they know, then we'll damn more souls to hell than even the Whispering Tyrant would damn an Absalom. But this is a problem for future generations. What you're describing will be occurring millennia after you're gone. Let that be a problem for the Starfinders. <laughs> <laughs> next, next adventure path. <laughs> Axe them. Speaking of which, we him. should. If you... It, she'll be like... Yeah. If you, if you choose not to accept my offer, I'll, I'll hold no ill will. The, the offer will still stand. I presume you wish to destroy the Demi-Lich anyway. I will not stop you. Uh, but I will not aid you in uh, removing this army, as I'll, I'll be unable to without his unholy symbol. Though I will say, if you confront him, Lathandri will likely come for you. You've already gotten a bit on her shit list, having destroyed some undead. Sorry to be so callous. And as you are strangers here in this strange land, I, I feel as if I could offer some some guidance in that. What can All we right, even so do about her on to you? Well, you can't quite destroy her. She is an emissary of Rigathoa. Though you could subdue her um, and uh, weaken her to a point where mm, I could deal with her. Well, Noggin has been known to make women weak. She'll give a chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> all right so telepathically we don't make this deal obviously so what are we gonna do about this we just leave her alone yeah we're just like i mean right, we just on. move on like she gave us all the information we could have possibly needed let's go yeah. kill the devil then deal with her let's go kill the demi lich yeah yeah as you guys are like we're passing on the plan or whatever she'll be like i understand i understand that you uh have a moral uh, a, a moral objection to the damning of presumably innocent souls, even ones you haven't met, even ones generations in the future. But I will say this. 
this is a problem that would occur to people so very far from, from your world. This bargain could prove critical in ensuring your world's own safety. A noble sacrifice. Isn't that what true heroism is about? Making the hard decisions for the greater good? Well, some food for thought, at least. Uh, enjoy your combat with the, uh, the Demi-Lich. She'll give you a nod. And, uh, like, go over and get her tea. I hope she burns her mouth on that tea. I'm immune to fire damage, dear. Thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just ask her if she could tell us where the Lich is. Oh, he's in his quarters to the north. Uh, she'll describe the room that had that golem in it. He's in there somewhere, probably. I heard him thrashing about in there the other day, making a mess of things, as he usually does when one of his screw is loose. Hmm. Must be maddening to be confined to just a, a skull for all eternity. Dreadful. That's concerning. Yes, he's a demi-lich. Yes. But you're stalwart adventurers, you'll put a stop to him. She'll give you a thumbs oh, up. Boy. Beelzebub be with you. And also with you. Oh, he is. And with your spirit. <laughs> and with your spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm going back. Sure, uh, I guess we're here. going back. Well, let's go search for a floating skull <laughs> thing. I wonder if he's going to be in the armor this time. The devil downplays the impact of a planetary invasion if confronted. It is, after all, so very far from Kalarin. <laughs> yeah, seriously, that's like... That's like, that's like 3,000 years away. Are we in like year 4,000 something? That's not the point. It's fantastic. The point is not how long it will take, but that it will happen. Like, that seems like a bad thing. We're just making a new Whispering Tyrant at that point. Mm-hmm. Not here, though. That's not really the point, though. But that is the point. Is, it's not is, here. Is it, wouldn't we be damning another planet? Simply to save our own. Inevitable, yeah. Anyway, uh, you open that door to the north. It's as I described before. Disheveled. There's this construct that seems turned off. I suppose we investigate a little more. Irik, care to investigate a little more? I mean... Yeah. I suppose we can go take a perception. I'm sure the Demi-Lich won't just surprise us out of nowhere. Surely not. Surely. Uh, do you want to do a true saying on yourself? Sure. Sure. I will cast true seeing on myself. I think I have like a... My gloves can do some shit. You can see like undead through walls and stuff like that. If you put your gloves over your eyes. Yeah, if I do like the, the things I can see... Like... Undead through... Like 60 feet. Sure. So you do that. To try oh, and I see undead. Somebody else too, but I'll I'll do true seeing on myself. You cast true seeing. The other two of you, I imagine, make perception checks. You put these things over your hands and try to look through any terrain, as there's a bunch of stuff knocked over, to try and see if the demi lich is in here. Um, Irik and Norm can act in the surprise round, as there is a demi lich. He's very very small, and he's underneath a bookshelf. Uh, you see him. Norm, he seems to be asleep. Irik, you hear him snoring faintly. And as you hear this, uh, and you've now entered the room, as you begin looking for him, uh, he'll, like, snort awake, and you'll see him, uh, like, be ready for combat on the other side of the bookshelf with your, your gloves. So we can roll initiative. And the construct now will, uh, become hostile. Hmm. Um, you guys literally opened the door and immediately left with no one walking in. That's what happened last time. <laughs> <laughs> Garm or Norm, do you have the lookout fe feet? Doubt nope. it. It doesn't matter. You have it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't matter because I am an Inquisitor. So, yes, I can act on the surprise round. Dope. Hugo, you get to go because it seems like Norm can go. Uh, you don't see any enemies except for this construct. Uh, have they been able to telepathically tell me 
Yeah, it looks like there is a bookshelf on top of this guy. He's got total cover from you. There's like a bookshelf that's fallen over, and there's a demi lich. There's a skull oh, okay. underneath it. I will five foot step here. We'll go ahead and bane construct. Sure. Good choice. You can attack it. No attack kind of, know what kind of construct this is? Yeah, you can certainly do that on your turn. Makes sense. Hey. Let's go! Do I get an attack? Uh, yeah, you do, because you have combat reflexes. Let's go. That's a critical. Let's go, Chase. Yo, let's go. (laughs) Uh, Another one. I will also get an attack. (laughs) Everybody's getting Do you have combat reflexes, Carm? Yes, sir. All right, then you can make it. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. All right, and I get get one off of Zim's attack, right? Yep. What's your base weapon, Hugo? Oh, let's go! <laughs> Another one! <laughs> what's your What's your base weapon, Hugo? What do you mean? It's a ghost touch rapier plus three. It's a plus three? Okay, sounds good. I'll attack again. Yeah, dude. Uh, uh, you guys will chop oh, this dude. down. You get through its damage reduction, Hugo. Noggin, you do about half damage to this creature. But between all of your attacks, I don't think Garm does any points of damage to it. My hands are adamantine. Oh, okay. Go for it. It has <laughs> DR 15. Adamantine. So yeah, you can roll all your damage. You can roll all your damage and uh, God, how many uh, okay. I total let it up. Me, let me do some math. I got... Let's see. Norm, That's you're up one. next. There's probably a dead construct there. Criticals. What do you want to do? Okay. Well, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> one hit. One critical. Um, laser hands. Two criticals. Yeah, it is on the other side of a bookshelf. Your lasers cannot pass through walls. I don't then believe. No, I won't laser oh my hands. God. <laughs> I will. Let's see though. Ghost vision. You can see all undead within sixty feet. You can expand it as a positive action. Da 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 da. It's a ranged touch attack. So yep, it, it's still blocked by a wall, sadly. Okay. Yeah. 46. Also, for what it's worth, while the gloves are active, constructs and living opponents just, treat you as though you're that. blind. Because <laughs> your hands are covered up. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Six. Do you want to do anything, Norm? Ah, uh, prayer. I cast prayer. Okay. Why not? <laughs> Ivy's over there doing math. Twenty-two. <laughs> it looks like it's. Okay. It looks like he's got a headache. <laughs> Twenty-two right? D six, thirty-six, forty-seven, fifty-nine. So twenty-two D six plus forty-nine. Uh, yeah, that is some amount of damage. One hundred and fifty damage. One hundred forty-eight damage. Cool, 148. Uh, This thing dies. As it dies, there seems to be a swarm inside its chest cavity that remains. Nice. Of bees? Yep. There's a swarm of bees inside it. God damn it. There was a swarm of bees. I had to do some some actual serious fucking math for that. Uh, Always forward, never backward. It was the surprise round. You only had one attack. So you Oops. wouldn't have been able to do that. It's fine though. We're gonna just move that. We're gonna just Wait, move why? forward. It's you a surprise round. You only get a standard round. action in surprise round. Oh, so you couldn't do a full round attack. You can only make one attack. He also couldn't do the the bane. I don't believe he could only make a standard it's a action. Swift action. So no. Yeah. I mean, if you want to subtract some damage, but it's fine. We would have killed it anyways on the on the next turn. Cool. Cool. But ah, now it's a swarm of bees. America. It is, in fact, a swarm of bees. Ah, bees. Which seems worse somehow. <laughs> bees? bees? No, they weren't any. Bees? Yeah, I mean, I guess there will be a, there will be a scream uh, as the bookshelf and all the shit around it kind of blows away and you see this creature. Uh, everyone can make a... Will save. Uh, fortitude save. 
fuck two stays. Against what? Uh, it is against a death effect. Ooh, Zim and I get plus four Charmed on Charmed life! Go for it. Zim, you get an additional plus four against that. Everybody's got prayer also! Plus heroism and prayer. Uh, everyone except Irix seems to have a penalty on this. Uh-oh. Hmm? You guys certainly ate from a feast. Oh, we did, didn't we? And you no longer have her favor. Oh. Oh. Huh. That seems bad. Alright, let's scroll down here and see who's dead. I think I forgot plus I prayer. Like, cool! Yeah. Norm, do you have a reroll? I think I should pessimist this, yeah? Probably yeah. good call. And, and reroll I it. mean, you're gonna die. I mean... Maybe. You know what's gonna happen. I don't I don't know, hold on. Okay. I would reroll this one, big guy. I'm rerolling it. It's gonna be lower! <laughs> oh my god. It's Hold on, I have I have something that says I can make you re-roll. Hold on. That's what I just used. <laughs> no, I have another thing that I can make you re-roll it. Okay. Probably not. You have something that makes I, you re-roll. No, it's, probably not I can another make person. How an I re-roll? Da, da, da. Sure. Do, 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 I'm trying to find do, one on my sheet. I forget what the fuck it's called. I'm thinking Norm ex no Norm exploded. Yeah, no, maybe. Happened. You don't know. Perhaps, perhaps what not. What the hell is it called? Who knows? Well, but yeah, he screams and he'll go like five feet up into the air. Uh, I mean, is it the pessimist trait? That's that's what I have. Correct. No. There's reactionary. Does not do any. Plus two D. This is a very rare thing to grant someone, which is why I'd be very surprised if you could grant him the ability to reroll something. I thought I could, but I guess I can't. I don't. I don't know. I vaguely remember being able to do that, but I guess I'm wrong. If it's something you used to be able to do, it's definitely a trait. Do you have the pessimist campaign trait? I don't. OK, it's what Norm could do. Uh, Norm, you take 200 points of damage. I am not dead. Holy, Holy shit. shit. <laughs> not dead. Cool. Uh, wow, Irik, okay. you have a standard action. Um, we haven't sure. even started the first round yet. I will start my performance. It just yelled. <laughs> I'll start my performance. Sure. I probably, I probably want to end my life, Link. <laughs> <laughs> no one took damage. You're fine. Uh, you start your performance. <laughs> the swarm will go. Uh, yeah, it'll just occupy these two people's squares. Uh, Hugo, take some damage. Who else is that? Eric, take Eric. some damage. Eric, your thing triggers. He'll max heal. Cool. I'll heal. Bird. Sounds good. Oh. Both of you need to make a save against poison and a save against nausea, both of which are fortitude saves. Mike. I think my greater reversion triggers. Let me read it real quick. I think it's for melee attacks. What is prayer? Is it plus? Plus one to saves. Plus, plus one, one to saves. Oh, yeah, this is where you heal yourself? Yeah. You must currently have a number of hit points greater than half, half blah, blah, blah. If at any time during the duration of the spell you are brought below half, of your maximum hit points, you can end the spell as an immediate action to absor absorb strength and replica, immediately regaining a number of hit points to 3d8 plus 1 per caster level. Maximum. 1d8 plus 1 per caster level. Yeah, but it's greater, right? Yeah, so, so it's 3d8. Th so 3d8 plus 15, so that's 24 plus 15, so you heal 39. Boop, 161. Alright. Uh, yep, you guys are totally fine from the swarm. It does some damage to you. Uh, actual rounds. Noggin. There's this guy uh, floating up in the air. It is a skull. <clears throat> did I show you its picture? No. No, you did not. It's just a skull. Is it a skull? Glittering jewels encrust this leering skull as it floats up in the air on a swirling vortex of dust and shimmering magic. Nice. Um, I still have fly, I presume. Yeah. So I will oh. just fly over to him. Yeah, you can attack it. A couple squares. 
Uh, I am actually going to do something that I forgot that I could do. Sure. I was reading through my character again. I'm going to activate Precise Strike by spending a Panache to double Ooh. Precise Strike damage. Sounds good. Light him up. Yeah, the thing seems pretty easy to hit. It's just like a dancing like marionette skull with no body. You hit. This is a 44 hit him. Okay. You crush this. it, bro. You crush it. Plus, three plus, plus 17. Three plus 17? Plus, cool. Plus 3 to that. So plus 20. So plus 20 to that, yeah. Does he have smite? No. Okay. Yeah, your attack seems to do substantially less. Hugo. That's unfortunate. Hmm. <sighs> yep. Uh, I will move over next to my buddy. I will switch my Bane to Undead as a swift action, and uh, I'll attack him. Seems sure. like the right play. Sure, do it up. Uh, this is with some bonuses, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit him. Yeah, you get him. So this will be 66 plus 9 uh, plus 13. So, ah, sorry. 66 plus 13. Dude, 38 damage. Yeah, he takes substantially less. Are you with Bane? He seems to have flat DR. Hmm. Wow. Yarp. Norm! Start your turn. What's up, yo? You take uh, five points of damage. Yep. Hell yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Like, bring not it on. Even, not even worried about it. All right. What you want to do, dude? We're going to cast what? heal on myself. Cool. You heal 150. <laughs> you have 17 damage on you. <laughs> Anything else? Beauty, beautiful As a basket. move action, I will laser hands. <laughs> Do it up. <laughs> Shoot that boy. I just imagine one hand like this, one hand like this. I, I can just do 120 damage. As a move action, a laser hand. You gotta uh, roll the hit. Oh. Right? That's right. How do I... I forget how to combat. Range touch attack. I believe range it is a range touch attack. <laughs> I wish, I, the, I I wish the terminology helped me. Uh, <laughs> roll a d20. <laughs> sure! Here we go, that that I understand. Fuck! You miss. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> Your laser beam goes wide. <laughs> he goes. I love... He screams again. Oh, no. Everybody oh, make a fortitude save. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Not time. like this, Cotton. Not like this. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. I'm sorry. Mine should be three higher. Okay. Mine should also be three higher. Cool. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. DC 20. I'm so sorry, Norm. Is yours, are uh, Hugo and Norm, are both yours what they are? 29. Why is yours three higher? Prayer. Prayer is going to make it one higher. Oh, um, hold on. Norm, is so yours correct? Normal bonus is three, uh, so... My knowledge. I have yeah. three from performance, two from heroism. Performance is not giving you a bonus to your saves in this case. Oh. Okay. No, mine's, mine's just probably low. Uh, okay, I guess mine's a 27. I did guess. you add your four from your it being I a did. death effect? It's a 17 base, two from heroism, one from prayer, and four from death ward, which would be plus 24, which would give me 27. Wait, do I have death ward? No. 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 Does protection from evil matter here? No. Nope. It doesn't stack with your, it your thing. Stack, huh? Yep, you each take 200 points of damage. I'm dead. Oof, so is Norm. Yep. Norm's not dead. He's at negative 10. Am I dead dead? You have 212 points of damage on you. So I would say so. Uh, the Lich will go after screaming. It'll fly away from Noggin. Uh, it provokes from you if you want to attack it. How far is it flying? Uh, it leaves the square you threaten. Would you like to make an attack on it? Sure. Okay. Uh, hello? I didn't drop it on him because he's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
Mm. Oh shit! Oh, wow. Yo, you're Can't actually still on. hit, even though it is quite, yeah. quite uh, tiny. It takes okay. some damage. Plus three or something? Wait. Plus three for me. Plus, Plus three. For me. It'll take three more damage. Uh, yeah. It continues to fly away. It is cackling maniacally and it is very uh, upset. Boop. Yeah. So it shrieks again. And you see Norm wither and collapse, and you see Hugo just kind of wither and die. You guys each had a minus four on your saves from taking the feast. Mm. Otherwise, you would have both saved. Uh, yeah. Eirik. I am sad. Evil people are evil, guys. Yup. You did not have a penalty until you uh, did not, no longer had her favor, at which point it became a penalty. Specifically against undead creatures and their yeah. spell like abilities, like my at will whale of the banshee. <laughs> it's a pretty good uh, undead ability. Hey man, you guys are one shotting all of my creatures. I'm just going to immediately go to their most powerful yeah, options from now on. At some point. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. All right, what'd you like to do? It seems that if Hugo's dead, uh, Norm, you think you could still breathe life into him. Yeah. Um,. Good thing I can't use lay on hands on other people. Um, I will. Got it. Got a wand. I'm gonna. Don't have use magic device. Have a potion. That paladin doesn't have a spell school. Mm, I might have a spell school. I'm pretty sure it still does, unless it loses its spellcasting abilities. You can just use a wand to cure light wounds. It would heal nine because it's always maximized. <laughs> If only that, that wouldn't if, be enough. If only it healed ten. Anyway, while Irik figures out what to do, I'm, Noggin, are you going to pursue your quarry? Um, I'm uh, thinking I just have to actually teleport Noggin to him so he can one shot him. Might be a good. Say, that's probably the best choice. Yeah. Hold on, a, hold on a second before we before we get all craziness. I uh, may I may have a, a thing. I, I mean, Norm's not dead for a while. Yeah, I mean, also, if they wake you up, Norm, if, if they were able to get you conscience, since you would get to go before the thing, you could breath of life Hugo, and it would also bring him up. But you can just so, you can just revive him after combat as well. With I raised dead. Raised dead. Yeah. yeah. As long. OK, as long as I'm still alive, that's fine. Um, does death ward not protect me from dying? Is that what that does? Gives you a plus four on that save. Huh. It makes you immune yeah. to negative levels. Temporary negative levels. Well, bummer. No, your fourth level spell is not better than my ninth level spell. I didn't think so. I just thought I'd ask. Irik, you gonna teleport him over? Um, yes. I will That's spend a move action to teleport him. I'll spend a swift to get everyone smite. That's a good call, as I have DR20. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I guess I can fit in a bunch of my... Oh, it is DR20. I can't hurt it. Uh, you have smite, you, you do. norm at all. Do you I have give everyone else smite. I don't give myself a smite. Sounds good. No, I, I, you have, be here. I have reactive healing when reduced to zero hit points. Are you in the air, Eric? No, I'm not. But Okay, my boy's like 15 feet in the air or something. So. Oh, then, yeah, never mind. I'm sorry. Noggin, Noggin can't miss him anyway. Valid. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm... He has, an AC, he has an AC of 29 because he's advanced. <laughs> He's just a screaming skull, bro. He's just fishing for ones every round. Yeah. Yeah, light him up, Noggin. All right, so it's my turn. Yeah. Yes. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go all out here. Good call. Jitzel, do you have something? Uh, where you I'll use a panache to deal extra damage. Yes, I do. It's just it's fucking it's lots. With a uh, prayer, the twenty-seven will hit. Uh, yeah, I also smite. didn't add heroism or smite or his plus. Yep, three. all your stuff so hits. Just tons of tons. Don't of worry damage. about adding the smite. I'll do it on my end. Okay. And just roll all your damage off to the side, because okay. uh, it doesn't know. Boop. So thirty nine plus thirty eight plus thirty nine plus thirty six plus. What's your smite bonus? Seven. Uh, did um, I roll five times? Or is it eight now? Five times. Yeah. My bad. No, there's seven. only four. Um, seven times five. Seven takes 187 damage. It is destroyed. That's what we like to hear. Overkilled it by like 
60, which means you had to smite in order to kill it. Because oh it would have taken 80 off from its DR. Well, I'll grab a panache back. Uh, the swarm will go. Buzz, 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 hold on, hold buzz. On. Jitzel, what, what is that thing? Because you, you aren't dead, are you? I am not, but I, I have reactive healing. It's not his turn, though. What? what? He, he, says something. he says he wouldn't have gone down, is what he's saying. Yeah, I think so. Oh, when an attack would reduce you to zero fewer hit points, you can expend one use of channel energy to heal yourself. It healing affects only you. Oh, yeah, so you heal 60. Sure. So only I'm down, and then Jitzel can breath of and life me in his turn. In, correct. And we'll see if it's enough. 217 minus 60. Boom. 157. You're at 157. Cool. My swarm goes. Swarm, swarm, swarm. The actual threat is something you guys physically can't kill. I am 15 feet in the air. They're wasps, bro. I don't, I don't know. It. You take six damage, motherfucker. Does it hit both of us? The no, no, it's just oh, going after just, you. Just me, cool. It was protecting its master. Um, Noggin, you delayed anyway. until after Eric. Yeah, right. So you're down here. Anyway, yeah. All right. So he goes unconscious. Norm, you're going to breath of life him. Yeah, why not? Breath of Life Please. heals 5d8 plus, one per cast, 5d8 plus 1 per caster level. You're level 17, so it's going to heal 40. Plus 17, it's going to heal 57. So 212 minus 57 is 155. Yep, you're at negative 2. Oh, you're alive. So you have one permanent oh, okay. negative level. Permanent? Correct. Because okay. you were dead. Right. Raise Dead it's gives weird. you two negative levels when you come back. Breath Life gives you one when you come back. Okay, but you say permanent, but it is removable? Yes. It's the difference is, since it's not a temporary negative level, it is not negated by your death ward. So, but a restoration or something will get rid of that, right? Yes. Once per week. You can get rid of one negative level per week. Okay. It's like the stacking penalty for dying multiple times. But yeah, combat's over. This swarm harries you guys for a little bit. Uh, Norm, you also take like five points of damage i, I get no! you and hugo stands up <laughs> nice no the lifelink definitely broke when he was an object oh <laughs> all spell effects leave you when you cease becoming a legal target so all of hugo's buffs and shit are gone as he was corpsified but combat is certainly over the only reason the only reason i know that is because i had a very technical combat at a convention once and it was very much in the player's favor for them to still have buffs. Or it was it was very much in the player's favor for the enemy they killed to not have its buffs. Like, they killed it, and then something Breath of Life did, and it came back and healed itself. And they were like, fuck. But its AC is 10 lower because it doesn't have its buff spells. And I was like, mm, I think it still does. Anyway, I went and talked to, like, the person who is the author of the adventure. And, like one of the four people that wrote the Pathfinder rule system. And I was like, do spell effects cease when you die? And they like confabbed and they're like, yes. And I was like, all right, guys, you're in luck. And they're like, woo, and they're able to kill the thing. <laughs> and then in the next combat, one guy was greater invisible with mind blank. And he died to Bale of the, Wan the Whale of the Banshee. And the other guy's like, oh, I'll go over in Breath of Life. And I'm like, you don't know where he is. He's invisible with mind blank. And they're like, oh, but spell effects leave. And I was like, all right, you're right. Spell effects leave. <laughs> so there it is. Spell effects leave when you die. As it is, it forever will be. But yeah, combat is over. The thing is destroyed. But he's a lich, though. So he has a phylactery or he's not. He's a demi lich. He's he is a demi lich. So based off your understanding, he's certainly done for now. <laughs> You know, you could spend some time. Did the devil say something about a cross or an uh... unholy symbol? Yeah, there is an unholy symbol as you check out this room a bit. Um, there is a. Hey, Jitsu, can I get a heal, please? Unholy symbol. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh thinking of figure out which one I want to use. A mass heal would probably help. Though. I mean, I can I can level six heal myself, but that seems like. Uh, a I mean, yeah, I'm. I'm. You're get. You'll get. A, I'm just thinking if. if Two heals or one mass heal? Ah. I see, I see. I see the conundrum you face. Yes. <laughs> if you end up I... having a fourth level slot, I have uh, Diamond Dust for him. Uh, Garm! I have two. 
two sets of diamond dust. You made a perception check as we first came in here. I believe. Let me scroll uh, on up. I'm going to heal myself. You got a 53. You also noticed a secret oh. door here when you made that perception Ooh. check, Garm. Hmm. You guys can explore in here and you find a small vault that is full of treasure. Yay. Heal 150. Ivy. Jesus Christ. I'm basically I'm full healed minus I know. <laughs> That's, why <laughs> That's why you let the healer heal. That's why you let the healer heal is what you're saying. Come on, his parts, dude. Well, he I parts mean, so high on this fight. Too. His HPS were like zero and then like four hundred <laughs> for a round and then zero. <laughs> so um temporary Permanent negative level is minus five temp total HP, right? Yep, just minus five HP, minus one to do twenty rolls. I cannot get rid of that yet, though, right? Are you have restoration. Uh, the door into that little side room, uh, seems to be locked. Hmm. Well, Yarp, uh, I can I cannot get rid of his negative level yet, correct? You can. Yeah, yeah just with the rest with the restoration. You can. And uh, marking off a thousand gold pieces from your party loot. Sure. I'll, I'll take the thousand gold hit since it's my negative level. Sure. Yeah. Uh, now, IB, basically, for the next nine days, if you die, those negative levels you can't remove. Yep. Yep. That's all it is. So you have no penalties. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes to cast that spell. In that time, you search around this room trying to find stuff of value. You don't find much. You do find that holy symbol, though. Unholy symbol, rather. Uh, it seems to be rather unique. Definitely was this guy's unholy symbol. Uh, why don't you all give me another perception check while you're all vibing, hanging out, doing your thing? Uh, I'm gonna take this time to cast heroism on myself again. Sure. Out, maxing and relaxing, all cool at all, shooting some b ball. And uh, I guess I would need another telephone. You're living with your auntie and uncle in LA. <laughs> Dude, it's been a while since I've oh, watched that show. Irik, do you want heroism, Garm? You I son of a movement. bitch. I will give you, you freedom of movement. I'm sorry. Oh, you yeah. might see me. Let's see. Uh, Eric, go ahead and place yourself somewhere in that room. I'm going to draw a thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, you. Do not see anything. Uh, the door seems to be locked. Tragic. This door here seems to be secured. Yep. You don't find um, a key. We didn't find a key. Nope. Yeah, we found a secret passage, right? So You find the secret passage, and there seems to be a closed door into that room that you can't so open. So I can knock it down with my sure. shoulder. Yeah. You would can... have been incredibly surprised if any of you could pick locks. Impressed, mm. but not surprised. Is there a pick lock? Uh, you, you, you take some time with like a crowbar and try to break this door open and you find that none of you are nearly strong enough required to break open this stone door. Hmm. You just leave Could it? Could I... Uh, uh, Can we just teleport beyond it? That is the solution. True. <laughs> you certainly can. <laughs> You certainly can. Unless there's like a trap <laughs> in there. Dimension door me to the other side. We're just can extra I, fucked. Can I telekinesis this or pilfering hand or anything like that? Like this? Can't one of you like mold stone or something? I can, yes. That will not work in this area as you have to mold natural stone, not this magically treated stone. Damn. Do you want to expend a teleport? Your dimension door? Girl? Yeah, I think I'm going to have Cool. Uh, it's after nine. We can stop whenever you guys want, but I'm happy to keep going. Uh, go and move yourselves to the other side of that wall, and I'll tell you what you find. We find a lethal cloud gas trap, and I'll die. Yo, oh, you tr yeah. you trigger my whale of the banshee trap. No. <laughs> uh. Perfect. Everyone, make a will save that teleported in there. Ugh, God damn it! Go again. Yeah, I, I knew I knew there would be something. I, should go. I mean, yes. you can make the will save too. Who wants to go? I'm thinking or, only I should go because I either I have to spend two points either way, and if I send everyone over, then I have to spend four points. Sure. To get myself uh -oh. and everyone else. Make a will save, Eric. Acceptable. Okay, but what if you get trapped back there? Then hopefully you guys can find a way to get me out. We just we fucked. just we literally can't open the door if you're your alignment is lawful good. Yes, it is. What cool. happens if Do the it arm up. gets trapped over there? 
Make a will save, Eric. We all go so we Eric. can cry together. Eric, make a will Honestly, save. Honestly, I'd just start crying like a baby, a little baby. That's probably what I'd do. Make a will save. Uh, plus two against mind all, or plus two against enchantments. Sure. Damn it, Gar. You take ten points of damage as you enter this space. You really do not want to be in here. It does not feel good. Hmm. You see, uh, this room. It seems to be a nearly empty chamber, despite its size and ample storage. There seems to be some books on the shelf. Uh, there's various, like, rotting pieces of wood, little chests, things like that. There's all sorts of trinkets and curios here you could collect. Is there a way to open up the door? Uh, the door seems to be locked. Incredible. <laughs> you could teleport out easily, though. <laughs> this door is locked. The key long since lost. Uh, in looking through here, you find... Uh, a bunch of books, a handwritten ledger in which Kral recorded his many expenditures, tracking the vaults, gradually diminishing inventory as he paid contractors, bribed outsiders, including scores of devils, consumed material components for a variety of spells. The surviving treasures, which are listed, seem to include a diamond worth 5,000 gold, a bag of onyx gems worth 7,000 gold, a scroll of Windwalk, and a fully charged Staff of Divine Necromancy. It is a variant stack of Staff of Necromancy that instead has Bestow Curse, Death Ward, Death Watch, Death Ward, and Slay Living, as well as Harm. And these seem to be all the things that are mentioned on the ledger. And you're able to kind of, like, quickly look on the shelves and find all the things that are labeled. I can throw them on your party sheet. Anything else you want to do in here? That wand of death ward is going to be really nice. Yes, it is. A staff of death ward, even. Yes. It's reusable. That... Ooh. You have to be able to cast one of the spells into it to replenish charges. So it gives you a few extra uses of it, uh, and then you can like slowly replenish it if you want to. So I can use death ward from it and then refill it with a death ward cast? Uh, basically, the way this thing works is it has 10 charges. Each spell consumes a different amount of charges. Each day, oh, you yeah, can expend yeah. a spell to restore one charge. So you could expend a death ward to give one charge back, but it requires three charges to cast. It comes with ten, though, so you get like three right. full death wards out of it for free before you really need to start replenishing it. But you can like replenish more than one charge at a time, and other people can do it. So you can like pass it over to Jitzel, and Jitzel can burn a bunch of his spells into it if he has like the spells. Before he rests or whatever. Exactly, to try and recharge yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. I'll throw all harm. that stuff on there. Just in harm case you need to do a shit ton of damage. Yep. You if find... It's undead, though. Harm works as heal. Correct. So don't cast it there. Correct. But yeah. That is all you find. Um, I'll take a perception check to give, like, a quick once-over. For sure. Do it up. The boys. I mean, they're on the outside of the room. Oh, yeah, but they'd be mad if I didn't. Oh, 46! You find a secret compartment beneath one of the shelves. It contains a scroll as well as a small pile of rust and ash, which is all that remains of his phylactery. This is a scroll of miracle. It doesn't nice. appear as if the, the component cost has been paid, though. Miracle sounds like a good spell. Is that like Wish? Yeah, it's like the divine version of Wish. Basically, with this and 25,000 gold pieces, you can cast Miracle. Which is pretty neat. Miracle is a sweet spell. I'm sure it has like limits like Wish does. Yeah, you basically ask a deific power to intervene on your behalf. The suggestions are resurrect a companion to full health with all of their spells back. Um, remove any negative condition or malady affecting someone. Um, revive the entire population of like a town that died in some calamity stuff like that we can't just like wish it to kill Tarbifon though right like that won't work probably no negative you could wish to like gain power against him and get like a plus six enhancement bonus to a stat without having a stat item you could do something like that though well that would be nice it, it can do things of that nature um so let me throw that on your party sheet as well but yeah, you do not find a key to this door. It seems as if it was lost long ago, and you will have to burn a teleport to get out. Or break the door down. Break DC 20, 38. Uh, maybe not. 
All right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, with the exception of that devil and one lounge room that you haven't explored, there doesn't seem to be uh, mm-hmm. anything else of really interest here. That's probably it for me. Yeah, I'm yeah, really tired. Yeah. yeah, we can go ahead and tap out for the evening. Does next work work next week work for you guys? Yep. Cool. Yep. All right. Sounds good. I will see you guys next week. You're level 17. We've got uh, you can explore that last room here. You have the whole other wing uh, and then probably done with this map, which will be exciting. Okay. And then it's on to the the end of the campaign and all that entails. So. Ooh, uh, uh, uh,